Hello. Hello. Hello, 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 hello. Hello. Hello, hello. What do you mean late? I was waiting for the song to end. It was all Kino and perfect. It was intended. It was super intended. Well, hello everyone. Welcome back for another streamer Reno of uh, going through all the noble phantasms. Oh boy, we are getting through steadily, you know, as we go, as we go. Not sure if we'll actually get there, but Goetia actually has a noble phantasm animation. You're right, but guess what? We're not, because he's 151, and we're going to 150 today. So, uh, yeah. Anyways, hi. I'm here. I got my desk with all these servants on it. I like looking up random, like, fate statues and being like, what can I put on here today? Kind of wish I actually owned some of these. So, uh, yeah, Goetia's probably not on the tier list. But I remember, yeah, he did have a noble phantasm. So, well, well, we'll see. We'll see. Who knows? Maybe we can put him in an honorary position. I don't know. Anyways, a uh, bit of a recap for those who someone is ringing the doorbell right now. I can't believe this. Someone is ringing the doorbell. Well, see you in a sec. Don't worry, I'm already back. Don't worry. Don't worry. Just give me a moment. Just give me... Give me a dang moment. Okay. Okay, I ran. I ran. I ran all the way up because uh, I wanted to check and it was literally just an Amazon package. Not even for me. Okay, hi. Whew. Well, um... Yeah, recap. For those who uh, haven't been here for a bit, rank EX is still absolutely Emya. Will anything beat that? I don't know. Probably not. Skahawk, who just got announced to get her updated version, is coming out early. Is it already out? I think it's coming out. If not coming out early, it's it's coming out. If it, not a, out now, it's coming out right away. So I like to believe that I willed that into existence. So uh, that's all good. Karna's been rocking. Especially because um, I've advanced a bit further into Lost Belt 4. Oh my god. Yo, Karna is based as Frick. And uh, yeah. So, rest of it, it's all here. Once it's all done, it'll have a nice picture for us to go through. So that'll be a lot of fun. Otherwise, we're clearing through. So, uh, without further delay, let's get going. The 24th? Okay, she's not out yet. All right, so first we have the thickest hips I've ever seen on a male servant. It's Rama, which I learned today was because uh, they got confused with the design and thought that Rama and Sita were like the same all in one and not like not like how they actually are. So they gave Rama big birthing hips, which is interesting. So let's start with the old one first. Let's see what we got here. Okay. Destructo disc. You weren't kidding. That's that's literally a destructo disc, huh? Well, let's check the improved one. Rama is breedable, but is he submissive? I'm going to say... I'm going to say yes. I'm going to say yes. Let's get this nice and... Nice and HD now that we're on the, the new one that can run better. Okay, let's see. Bigger sword. I love seeing the sword spin. 
Because then at least, at least it like looks cooler. Although I don't get how there's nothing in the middle. Hmm. Right, it goes up. It spins around. Like, I don't get why there's nothing in the middle. How's it spinning like that? Yeah, go, okay, so yeah, good, good thing to point out there, Blade Hero, ironic name, of course. You can actually see it pierce the enemy. That's rad. The fact that you can actually see it do the piercing. Uh, it's basic, but I, I enjoy it. It's a good one, right? It's a Destructo Disc that hits. It doesn't come back and bite you in the butt. So yeah, no, I think that's a, that's a good one. So Rami here, uh, I'm going to say, let's see, I'm going to go C plus. Rami gets a C plus for that, right? Because it's, no, you know what? B, I like it. If it wasn't for the, if it wasn't for it going through the opponent, it would probably be less. But that thing of like, you can, it, it like it stops in them, you can hear it buzzing and then it flies through. That's good. I like it. Yeah, chakrams are supposed to be hollow inside, but it's not a chakram. It's a spinning sword. Like, I get it. He's using his sword as a chakram, but it's it, it, whatever. Magic. I don't got to explain anything. Uh, yeah, no. Um, Rama's good. Oh, also, by the way, uh, we don't have many left. We don't have many left, but I can't actually show any of them from Excella Link anymore. I may have got hit with a message from Marvelous saying, don't do that. No, 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 don't do that. And when I tried to say like, oh, you know, it's fair use. They're like, uh, 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 don't do that. So then as such, uh, that's not happening. However, Arcade is still fair game. And honestly... The arcade versions are usually better anyways, so we're okay. Uh, but yeah, no, speaking of, you're right. Rama isn't in arcade. However, Sita is. So let's take a look at Sita's Noble Phantasm here. Well, Sita's whole trailer, right? Uh, so let's go to Sita. Let's see. Sita Arcade, four star. Sita's an archer. I, I, I like the idea of... Her being basically like, you know, they, they appear together and arcade, which is like an alternate world stuff. Uh, then no video. Really? Uh, like an alternate world. It's like, okay, what if we got Sita instead? You're kind of working backwards. Okay. Um, well, that's not there. So it will be though, if I go to the arcade one, fake grand order arcade, here we go. His wife does have a type advantage. You're right. Uh, let's see. We need to find Sita. Boy, I wish I could control F. There we go. All right, here we go. Let's take a look. Let's watch this whole thing. And yes, I did see the recent plot development for Grand Order Arcade. It's really interesting bringing in that one servant, huh? The one who people have talked about for a while. The one who's a beast candidate, but has always been good, but might be turning evil. Huh. Dang, you got the hips too. You also have no waist. Jeez, what are these proportions? Those proportions are kind of whack. Well, they didn't show her, but they definitely hinted. They hinted enough that it's pretty obvious. Let's see. Do you also shoot a Chakram? Kind of pair, yeah. Okay, that's that's a fun way to do... Uh, that's a fun way to do bow and arrow. Oh, and I love the reaction. Oh, I love the reaction. That's great. You, you you do the pullback, it fires, and then you see... Pew! That's good. Again, I the thing I love about Arcade is that they can actually show the reactions. That's the good part. I love it. Nice. Cool stuff. 
cool stuff. God, that Fast Pass documentary is buck wild. Uh, next up, Lee Shuen Lancer. Uh, so let's head over to check out Lee Shuen here. Oh, he's only had his original. Okay. I love the slowdown. Okay, so I, I know that it's like... I know that it's lame that it's just three pokes, but by God, is that the most violent three pokes I've ever seen? Like, the text popping up, it's like, okay, poke, poke, and then you see the charge, the step forward, the poke with the massive text, and then the biggest explosion I've ever seen. So yeah, while he is a three-poke Tony, those pokes are like, those are some dang pokes. I know it's, I know it's like some Chinese technique, they explain it, but still, his whole thing is only one strike. Was Wait, isn't the one strike with his fists, though? I thought the whole thing was, like, he does the one strike with his fist, but it's different with a lance. At least that's the, kind of what I got out of it. Uh, if it was just the final poke, it would have been better. I don't know. I don't know if I... Well, I think thematically, yes, but animation-wise, I don't know if I'd agree. But, uh, let's, uh, let's see. Yeah, the first pokes don't count. The first pokes were just him, like, scaring you with the air pressure. Um... Is it D? Yeah, it's D. D plus, D plus. It's still called No Second Strike. Dang it, you're right. Right? Let's go D. You're right. Because that name, because that name is No Second Strikes and he clearly does three strikes. The first two hits are diversions. Yeah, but he still hits, right? He still goes for them. Fine, that's a D. Just because it is kind of a, uh, kind of silly. Okay, this one, I already know what tier this is going in. Because I, I, I could not believe this when I first saw it. I could not believe what I was seeing. I just ranked this up, too. I've been doing rank up quests off screen. Okay, here we go. That okay. I'm legitimately, I'm legitimately so stuck between meme tier and ex tier. Like for real. That's so. And and I think what okay, so it would be meme. It would be meme if it would be meme though, like a hundred percent, if however it didn't play an absolutely perfect version of the trumpets. It like if it if it didn't have the trumpets that sounded perfect to the opening, it would be meme. But the fact they went and they did it so perfectly. I I have to appreciate the effort. So, yeah. I think that's another EX tier. Would the trumpets get you in trouble? No. It's fine. I love it. When I saw this Noble Phantasm, this... Okay, so a bit bit of a personal story. Um, I've... So I saw... I saw... Uh, Thomas Edison... As a fate servant, way before I got into fate, absolutely right. I didn't actually do, I didn't actually really get into fate, you know, before that. But I saw him, and I'm like, Thomas Edison as Lionhead, that's so silly. However, when I saw that, I immediately went, these characters are way more than just anime, just waifu bait or husbando bait. They are pure like there's just so much to them and all those things i love it i love it i love it so yeah no for me okay maybe not ex but a plus 
yeah, let's go A+. Because, I mean, I don't even really know what's going on. He just gets up there and roars, and I guess everyone's just like, oh, I'm scared, right? And I'm sure if we read the lore, which I have unlocked, if we go down to it, do we have his? Right here. Antipopulous. Illusory domain through Edison's Three Great Inventions. By creating a device that can eliminate light, record fleeing sounds, capture reality, Edison was able to make the hidden secrets of the world disappear. More accurately, what was hidden by the world is now taken aback by Edison, forcefully exposing the powers that work as the mystics, fixating anything that can't be measured as with energy as zero, reducing people's faith and belief in mystics to nothingness, an anti-populist noble phantasm that dominates people's face. No, never mind. Now that I'm reading about it and reading about what it's like, that's the coolest. That's so cool. He literally uses film to make movies, to, to make magic lose power. That's so cool. That's a lot. Yeah, no, okay, no, that's cool. No, that's great. And it definitely helps that, like, design-wise, boy, does he stand out, right? Boy, does he stand out. Bas yeah, basically ending the period of, like, literally, it's... E every single United States president, future and past, rolled into one using the power of film stops people believing in gods and turns the American, you know, democracy into the new realm of gods for worship. Like, holy crap! That's crazy! And I kind of love it. So, yeah, no, sorry, that's EX. That's EX. Psst, frick. Uh, I don't think he is an arcade. Probably because they would have no idea what to do with his, um, with his, his noble phantasm. So, yeah. Yeah, would, would Edison base it? Well, I, no, because I don't think there's, I don't think anyone would understand what technology is in Lost Belt 4. So, yeah. Oh, well. Uh, woo. Oh, well, that's good. Okay, I can legitimately say I don't think I've ever seen Geronimo's noble phantasm. I've barely seen his move set, let alone his noble phantasm. I really appreciate Geronimo as a character being put in. I think that just goes to show just how much. I think that just goes to show just how much people care about Geronimo. <laughs> That's so funny. That's really funny. Okay. Um. I think this is the last J JPEG or PNG. Okay. Well, time to go to YouTube and look it up. See if it's up here. Let's see if anyone has. Okay. Here we go. We'll go with this one. Oh, yeah. Scuffed audio, baby. Give me that scuff, scuffed audio. This is this is this is what he would have wanted. Oh, and it's slow. What do we got? Okay. Okay, no. Okay. Well, it's a well, it's a PNG. I, okay, yeah, it is a PNG, but I at least appreciated a PNG that does something. Summons the wolf, the wolf howls at the moon and the, the or the sun, and then the sun gets him, right? Uh, let's see here. His noble phantasm. Creator of the Great Plains summons the giant coyote of the, uh, of the Apaches as he is summoned. The sun, who had his tobacco stolen by him, begins to chase after him and causes powerful solar damage. At the same time, in his role as a guardian, amplifies the power of Geronimo's eyes. No, okay, so, okay conceptually that's really cool actually um so f full disclosure i am someone who is of uh first nations blood and so there's a little bit of inherent bias because for me i look at this and i go oh yo they actually did something awesome with a first nations character that isn't stereotypical so uh, fun fact, Amakusa Shiro's Christian name was Geronimo before he changed it. 
that's very strange. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I don't know about that. Uh, Geronimo doesn't feel like a Christian name, but no, that's cool. I actually, I really like the concept of that one. So it's going to definitely get some points up on concept. Um, like that would be, yeah, that's a D plus. That's a D plus, right? It's, it's not D and not E. I like the concept a lot, but, uh, it's definitely one that could be a bit better for something as cool as the sun chases the coyote and the coyote provides buffs while the sun does damage. Like that concept is cool. Yeah. You see, I, I, I get the name, the name he was baptized with, but no, aren't you baptized with like names from the Bible? I don't think the name Geronimo is in the Bible. Like I was baptized with Luke. That doesn't, I don't think Geronimo's in the Bible. Maybe I'm wrong. I don't know. There's some weird translations sometimes. But no, I like Geronimo there. Oh boy, it's time for Bill the Kid. Have you looked at... Okay, I, okay, no, you're right. I haven't looked at Geronimo's skills. I have not. I, like, I've, I've, I haven't used him. All right, so boosts Buster performance for one turn. 50% uh, Buster boost? That's not terrible. Oh, boosts arts performance for one term. Oh. Oh, God. Never mind. Geronimo is named after St. Jerome. Okay, I can see that. Fair enough. Fair enough. Yeah, wow, no, these skills suck. Wow, what's his... What's his... Wow. Wow, he has zero specializations. Wow, he has nothing. My man barely exists. Wow, that's a horrible kit. Okay, I'm sorry. His name is the Juvenile Rascal King. I love it. That's good. Let's see what Billy's got. Okay, Billy hasn't been upgraded. All right, let's see here. Yeah, Emya has all of his skills in one. Right? For sure. Okay, let's see. what what what, what What's Billy going to do? Okay, I like it turning Wild West. Yeah, so it's quick draw, right? That's what it is. It's, oh my god, I just, I just, I just saw Master of Disguise Turtle Club. Ugh. Yeah, no, no, uh, of course, of course it's quick draw. Like, that just makes sense. Uh, is there anything here about it that makes it special? Uh, a three-shot counterattack, so he fires three shots immediately. That's cool. I like that. Um, fired from the Colt M1877 double action revolver, aka the Thunderer that Billy the Kid used to have. Is that a real gun? Is that a real gun? Oh, it super is. Okay. Sorry, I'm I'm not American. I do not I do not know guns. Um Strictly speaking, the gun itself is not the noble phantasm. The shot fired from this gun in the hand of Billy the Kid is. That's kind of cool. It's closer to being a unique skill. What makes it especially tricky is that this vast majority of its concept is devoted to technique, which reduces the amount of magical energy required. Specifically, only requires the same amount as a rank E Noble Phantasm, so it's quick and easy to do. Like, it, it's not a super that you need to charge up for forever and you end up, like, you know... uh hurting yourself as the person casting it, he can just pop it off whenever, right? Yeah, so it's basically, yeah, it's 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 high noon, basically, right? It's he shoots the gun. Yo, I've never seen, yo, I've never seen that art. That's rad. Cool. Um, okay, no, um, a, like, well, it's not the most creative or the most uh, interesting it fits the character so well, I have to give it points for sure. Billy, 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 Billy the Kid. There he is. Uh, yeah, it fits a lot. And for what it is, you can't do too much, right? Um, like it's, it is what it is. So, you know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I would give that a C. Because that's a solid one. Uh, he wasn't based on McCree. Because this came out way before, and like, like I mean, well, he's he's a he's a cowboy, right? And Billy the Kid was one of the OG cowboys, so of course it's one of those techniques. Because I think the real 
quick draw? I don't know. I don't know. Honestly, I don't know about cowboys. Don't ask me about American culture. I have cowboys in my family and I mostly avoid them. But, um, yeah. Okay. I am surprised he's also not in arcade. But, uh, that's fine. Jean d'Arc Alter, the playable version. Who is different from the version that you fight? Right? Because this one is the the Avenger version. But you fight the one that's... I think they're also another ruler. Right? I definitely noticed that I think Jalter needs... Another update slightly. That's not... Wait, what? You got that backwards, kiddo? What's going on? Okay. Old but in the costume? Okay. And okay, so I'm gonna say this just immediately. Jalter is one of those servants that really, really needs an animation update for nothing more than to make her head smaller. She is one of those servants that her head is so massive. The the ultra deformedness of her is a bit jarring, right? Jalter from Orleans has a different noble phantasm. Oh, well, there it goes. Yeah, the fire and then the stabs. Okay. So then, did this get changed? Or is this the same just without the costume and they mislabeled it? I think it's the exact same. Yeah, no. The animation is fine. It's just, I just want her to have a better model. Like, literally, just make her head smaller and make the body bigger. Um. Hmm. Hmm. Well, let's take a look at the arcade one here. I can't even tell what's going on. Yeah, it is very similar to a Vlad the Third, right? Vlad the Third Lancer. It is. There's no getting around that. Um, specifically, do we have, uh, anti-army rank A, Rora Rage Mind, the Cursed Held, which descends as the Dragon Witch in the name of Avenger. She converts her surrounding, her and surrounding areas, hatred and magical energy, igniting her enemies, injustice, corruption, hypocrisy to burn them to the marrow of their bones. This is scary. Okay. It is kind of scary. Yeah, uh, we'll, we'll definitely check out the, the other version of her. I wonder if they have it at the top where they're like, did you mean, yeah, for other variations, see Gene, Gene alternative, or, or there we go, uh, ruler alter, enemy only. It's so weird to see. So let's see, do we even have the video here? Whoa, built in video player, hold up. Fancy schmancy, is it even going to work? It doesn't even work. Very cool. All right. Jean Alter Ruler Noble Phantasm. Can't show those ones. Um, okay. Is this the one? I can't tell. That that looks like the enemy sprite. Oh, that's lame as hell. Oh, that's lame as hell. Okay, no, never mind. That was not worth that was not worth seeking out. Um Okay. I like Jalter a lot as a character, but I don't think I love that super. It's not bad. It just could use definitely some tuning. So uh, I need to find her quickly. There she, nope, that's the summer version. There she is. Okay. Um, yeah, her, honestly, both her NPC sprite and her regular sprite are both off in different ways. So I'm very happy that the summer one is 
so much better. The summer one is so much better, right? Um, I don't dislike the concept of it. I don't dislike the, all that. So like, yeah, that's, that's Geronimo along with Geronimo, right? I, again, I don't even think she needs an animation update so much as she just needs like, just improve the models, improve the, the, like the, like the, like the motions are fine. It's more like what we can see. Make the fire look a bit, I don't know, cursed. I don't know. That's all right. Oh boy. Why did I close that? Actually, it's okay. It's Mango Boy. Mango Man. The Mango. Look at him. His Mango is to b blow up and act like he don't know nobody. That's literally it. That's the plot. What are they going to show for him? Are, they, are you going to show him doing the actual animation? Okay. Love the fact he transforms. That's so good. Don't love its effects. Really don't love its effects that much. And then he gets hit. And it... And it does like nothing. And it does like nothing. I love... I love, love, love him as... Like what he does and all his stuff. But yeah, that's meme tier. That's meme tier for the fact that it's like... You do it because you like Angry Mango. And that's it. That's it. The only reason you do it is because you can point and go, I loved Hollow Ataraxia. Remember the ending of Hollow Ataraxia? Remember how dank that ending was where you got all the servants working, you got everyone working together to stop a, a massive Musa wave of them? It was sick. It was so good. And the only reason you'd ever check out his Noble Phantasm is to like go, dang. I loved Hollow Ataraxia, and that's it, right? Yeah, you can do you can do zero damage. His whole existence is to be fan service. Absolutely. And like proper fan service. Because when you have like when you have so many hot girls, you need to do something special for fan service. So make, make, reminding you, reminding you about it is the only way. But it's insane when you fight him since he has way more health than an enemy. Yeah, it's true. And his damage, yeah. Yeah. He's, he's a better enemy than a friend, which, hey, that makes sense. That makes a lot of sense. Oh, Mango. I, ho I hope he comes to Arcade, too. Because I, well, I don't think there's friend points in Arcade, but at least put him in. Because I want to fight as him, right? It's kind of sad his world betting noble phantasm is skill three. You mean the one that kills him? Like, I get it, but honestly, honestly, for real, if you want the best way to check out Angry Mango, uh, his the version of him they put in Fate Crudal Cru, Fatal Crucis or whatever, the fan fighting game, uh, where his super literally will set like a point in battle that if you're losing and you die with him, the time resets. It's it's so cool. It's so good, right? Like that's the best way that I've seen him represented in something. Uh, and that's a fan fighting game. So going from little weak boy to the manliest of men with the voice that makes me quiver, not o o Otosuka Akio. I'm not a fan of his Japanese voice. This is like, I know, crazy to say, but all I hear is Blackbeard from One Piece. I know it's the voice, but it is literally just Blackbeard, and I can't handle it. Now, Jameson Price, uh, as him, is the perfect, like, threatening plus, um, like, threatening plus kind of kind. So it's great. Uh, I don't think I've ever seen his old one. So let's check that out. Oh yeah, Waver looks at this and goes, I'm, I'm, I'm moist. I'm moist to my core. The Fate Zero music is such a nice touch and also why I have to speak over it. Yeah, but the, like, like okay, yeah, that, that is literally just Blackbeard noises. 
Blackbeard is an overrated hypocrite. I mean, that's that's fine. That that's your opinion, but uh, I think he's cool. Yeah. So uh, immediately, I'm gonna be real. Just right from the start, right from the very start, that's a really sick noble phantasm, right? And one, okay. Shout out to the fact you get to see the the reality marble like pop in like that. That's so cool. He puts his arms up. He gets them all there. The fact they're all generic looking soldiers is the best you can do, right? Uh, but between the music choice and the just the idea of it being like it, it's my army, right? Like like if we read this here. Ionian, uh, Ionioi Hitairoi, anti-army, army of the king, summoning reality marble, the trump card of the king of conquerors, uh, people themselves are treasures, the achievements of the matchless brave warriors are them are by themselves through the king, by continuously summoning the personal guard he led in his life as individual servants, he can annihilate the opponent with his overwhelming army. That's so cool. The servers crashed due to too many people trying to summon them back in Japan. Wow. That makes sense. Hey, and you know what? I understand the qualms with people like who don't like some of the stuff that Urobuchi put in Fate Zero, but Fate Zero is still fun. I still like it, right? I still enjoy it quite a bit, but um, I feel hearing him battle is very different to hearing his speaking voice would be. Yeah, it, it is quite different, right? Uh, when he's speaking normally, I don't hear the Blackbeard because you don't hear Blackbeard be like crazy and yelling or, or comedic and not, you know, down to earth. Like he's always yelling. He's always angry. So when he's in battle, he sounds like it, but uh, outside of it, not as much, but uh, that's going to be, honestly, that's another a plus. That's an a plus for me. It's the concept is rad. The animation's great. It has very special music and I'm, I'm someone who loves, I'm someone who absolutely loves music. There was a, a big personal, like there was a, there was, I was playing Lost Belt 4. Some of you might know, but there is a big callback music piece from like way back in the original visual novel that comes in. And when that happened, like bro, I freaked. So for me, music elevates it. Getting your own theme immediately brings it up multiple points. Because that's it's so good, right? Uh, so yeah, and especially because Fate Zero soundtrack is outstanding, right? It's I I I really enjoyed Fate Zero. I kind of want to rewatch it, probably rewatch it in Japanese, but uh, no, that's 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 the good stuff. That's what we're here for. Uh, is he another one not in arcade? No, he's not in arcade. Boy, well, because I think that event wasn't in arcade. Emya Assassin. AKA, well, spoilers. Spoilers. Just got him. I was actually, uh, so this happened off camera, but I guess I should say, I was surprised that when he, like most of the time going from like stage two to stage three, you get a little bit of dialogue, but then when you go to stage four, it's usually just like, Hey, thank you. Thank you for what you did. But his stage four actually has the voice of Irie come in and be like, yo, you're pushing yourself real hard. Don't, don't forget to take a break. I'm always here with you. Even if I'm not. And I was like, Whoa, huh? Right? Because I did that off screen. Because normally when you ascend them, there's nothing nothing important there. But this time I was like, whoa, that's kind of cool. Also, I had a big talk, uh, big discussion with some of my friends. Um, Irie Irisville. She's absolutely the top. Holy crap. Like, we, we, for sure. We agree. We all agreed. We looked at the evidence and we're like, yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, that's how it is. Uh, kind of sad Maya isn't present. I could see that, but it almost feels like the lack of Maya led him down the counter guardian path a bit. So let's take a look here. So, so 
Okay, so I guess some some context, right? Because this is him using the same time bending magic from that he uses in Fate Zero, right? And he does it to basically do crazy things, right? And then he does the final shot with his origin bullet, right? Yeah, Maya has a CE, but I think they mean like it's a bit sad that Maya isn't brought up in in uh, pretty much anything else ever. Um, and then he uses what I assume is the origin bullet in there, which is like, yeah, that's cool. Right? Um, Kronos Rose here. Gather ye rosebuds well ye may. Old time is still a flying, and this flower that smiles today, tomorrow will be dying. The power to control the flow of one's own time stream, based off of time alter the ability he possessed in life. Yo, that's kind of red. His knife also has origin bullet properties? Holy crap! Holy crap, that's kind of cool! I didn't even know that! It's one of the few Noble Phantasm in the game where uh, they nerfed its Noble Phantasm game because it gained so much. Oh, Maya's in Strange Fake. Okay, well, that's good. Uh, by accelerating time stream, he could attack fast or, or move quickly. By slowing his botherism, he could be stealth. As a Noble Phantasm, he could perform near invincible ultra high speed combination attacks. That's great. Yep, yeah, that's. That's real good. Uh, no, I like that. I like it a lot. I think that's a sick, sick Noble Phantasm. Uh, a nice reference to Zero, and it's cool, because, yeah, it ends with the Nothing Personnel Kid, so that's all good. Uh, so I'm going to go... I'm going to go B plus for that one, right? Because it's it's cool. It's great, right? It's a good reference to Fate Zero. Uh, the actual idea of it is awesome. The fact that it ends with, again, like the, the Origin Bullet is... Origin Bullet is the sickest concept ever. Like, holy crap. I love it. Wow, Hassan of the Hundred Faces came out this late? Are you serious? Really? Wow, you came out in the era of Fate Zero. Okay, huh. Well, no wonder you kind of have some cool cool stuff going on, I guess. Uh, let's see. Hundred faces, Hassan. What do you have? Sorry, 48 frames per second? Why is this video running at 48 frames per second? Who decided that? That's kind of crazy. Yeah, Zade the Based. I love Zade the Based. Huh. So I like the concept of it just being all of them coming out and all of them doing stuff. But I think the actual uh, the actual way they execute it is kind of lame, right? Zade the base does extra damage against female enemies. Are you serious? Or are you making this up? Right? I don't know. The, yeah, the concept of the, all the Hassans are real cool. Do they even have one for... Yeah. Based off the idea of the multiple personalities, by splitting their spiritual potential amongst individuals, they can be manifested. Since one is different, they can vary in... Uh, yeah, yeah. So, um, I don't mind that, that they cut 100... Um, the 100 persons, 100 faces, whatever. Yeah, 100 faces from the movie. Because honestly, I'd I'd rather it just be Serenity. She needs more time, right? Because we got we got a whole show with hundred faces. Let's get let's get you know the one who hasn't been seen yet personally. So, uh, yeah, she was just kind of there to 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 uh, put in some stuff. But uh, that's uh, that's uh, that's a D, right? Cool concept, not the best. Not the best of anything. Yeah, to I I, I kind of miss Tota too. But again, it, it's tough to do movies because like you have such limited time and you want to get everyone some stuff. Okay. Iris Veal, Dress of Heaven. As time goes on, more and more like, you know, I'm liking Iris Veal more and more. 
she's definitely a character that when I first saw I'm like, okay, she's just kind of mom version of mom version of Ilya. But as time goes on, I'm like, no, you know what? I, I really like Iris feel. So let's take a look. Uh, so this one's going to probably rank pretty low because it is kind of lame, all things considered. Again, hashtag free servant, but uh, it's a good ability. I mean, okay, points for the music, right? Her voice is lovely. Oh, and look, remember my complaint that I had about Medea Lily? This literally fixes the Medea Lily problem. Right? Goes up, does the spell, right? It does a thing, she comes down, and then boom, right? It it immediately fixes the problem I had with Medea Lilies. So she's going to get whatever Medea Lily had, she's going to get it better than that. So let's take a look here. Uh, Irisville. Medea Lily was, well, Medea Lily was E. Let's go up two points. Let's give her a D plus, right? Yeah. Final Ascension art is top tier. The Final Ascension art can get me in trouble if I make it go full screen. So I'm only going to put it that much. Yep, you're right, though. Some of this art is who dang, who dang indeed. But uh, she's very pretty. It's also It also gives me a bit more time to appreciate the actual... Uh, Heaven's Field dress because like you only see it for such a brief amount of time in the original Stay Night and so here it's like okay no no you actually get to you know fully use it and I like that oh boy calm down calm down I'm talking to myself for this oh boy she does have a costume. Ah, that's fine. Well, here we go. Here we go. How do you guys feel about... How do you guys feel about liquefaction? Here we go. Just turns them into liquid. And Sippy. Oh my god. Yes, I do know that her voice actress looks the exact same. Like it's this it's the same person. Right? Um who oh boy. How does this work in arcade, I wonder? How does this work in arcade? I'm very curious, also fitting opponent, of course. The Sippy should do damage. You're kinda right, but I don't want big big um I don't want big damage bubbles appearing on top of her face. Feet. That's a okay, that's a neat way of handling it. Yep, that's 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 a good way of handling it for sure. Yep, that's really good. Um Okay, gotta calm down. Well, uh, and what does this actually physically do? Do we have a... Th we don't actually have a thing for it, huh? Is it the intoxicating aroma of fruit? No, it's... Oh, she doesn't actually have an explanation, huh? Because it's... The multitude of colors. I don't think we actually have a proper explanation on it for her. Yeah. Yeah, I assume it's like that one point in the story where she puts her fingers into you and, like, plays around with your organs. I assume it's supposed to be more like that, but we need her materials for that one. Well, that'll be for another time when I do a let's read of the materials. So, um, that's coming. We still got a lot to get through. Don't worry. I definitely want to go and read about the nitty gritty though. Okay. Uh, well, we didn't give her a ranking. Let's see here. That's, uh, that's gotta be high though. And it's abs, it's absolutely because I am a simp and that's fine. There's no issues there. Uh, that's, 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 
that's an A. That's an A for sure. If she got a little update that just gave a little bit more flourish, she would absolutely could be all the way up to A plus or EX for sure. All right. I just got a really nice craft essence featuring Xuanzang Zeng Zeng. Uh, there's a there's a promotional one that just came out with her with some lanterns for the movie. Let me see if I can find it actually. It's really nice. Let's see. Uh, craft essences. Do they have it? No. No, it's not actually here. Oh no, here it is. Prayer towards the sky. Right. Uh, I love just her expression and her costume here. She just looks so nice. Right. Looks great. Uh, so. Geez, she's so cute. I and, and it just literally like put her in any other hat and her cuteness goes through the roof. So this one is, if I recall, this one has an interesting part about it. Right? So we'll watch it through first, then I'll point it out. All right, so one, I never real, I never ever realized that she blasts off on the Nimbus. That's rad. But if we pause it, so like that's all good. But let's just go. Okay, so someone pointed out to me that that image there, it's a little tough to see. Now I made it there, I can actually see it. It's a little tough to see. But that's the final boss of Fate Extra. That's... That's the final boss of Fate Extra. That's pretty cool, right? Because obviously they can't put him in this game because he's absolutely broken as frick and would not have a... not. It wouldn't be good. But I think that's a great way... Yeah, yeah, it's the Buddha, but like, it's the same design. That's a really great way to bring in that little reference there. I really like it. Um, so as such, like that, like that alone, that brings it up some points. The fact that the actual like thing, and then you have the big final hit, the hit sends him in, you get that stuff. That's cool, right? This is a really good Noble Phantasm. Like that's, that's a really strong one. Is it caster-like? No, God, no. There's almost nothing caster-like about it. Actually, let's, let's read it here. Um... Let's see. Uh, Bore's a tiny fraction of the power of the Buddha, her former master. Oh, that's pretty much it. The edge of the world that Sung Wukong reached, that is the massive palm of the Buddha, falls from the sky to crush those who would defy the laws of Buddhism and anti-fortress, anti-army noble phantasm, the palm of the enlightened one. That's cool. Yeah, that's that's really great. Um, I think I think we'll eventually get to the part where we'll get Saver in here, right? We'll get um, the Buddha as a boss, but I feel like, I feel like that's a bit too, a bit too high for even where we're at right now. So mm, where the frick is she? I got to look for her dumb little hat. It's been getting easier as we've been going through, but it's also still tough to find the ones that I need to find. Because it's like the alphabeticalness of it is just not a thing. Yeah, it's too... Oh, there she is. She's way, way down there. Why all the way down there? Um, so that's honestly... I like it better than yours. So that's an A+. Plus. Yep. That's an A+. Plus. That's an A+. Plus. I could see them putting in... Yeah, him as a boss, just so that they don't have to worry about balancing another class there, right? Oh, it's X? Okay, fine. Yeah, I guess that makes sense. Mommy? I mean, 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 mommy?
Okay. Let's see. Okay, so I don't actually really understand what's going on in this one. I'm going to assume she's also one that's only in. Oh, right here. Ventral Lightning of the Ox King. Goshorai Temo Kai Kai. She summons the Ox or Ox Demon Servants of Gozu Tenno. Hey, Gozu Tenno! I just partnered with him in Shimagami Tensai. The source of her twisted origin, demonic strength, and crushes the foes. With that strength, the four weapons manifest with lightning, symbolize the souls of her four retainers. Okay, so personally, yeah, like using the different weapons, that's really cool. Personally, I would prefer if they wasn't, if it was actually the four different ones. It literally says mom type servant. Holy crap. Without any outlet for her maternal love, she might start treating her master as her child. Oh, okay. Um, I would prefer if she actually summoned them, like the actual, um, like servants and not just herself holding their weapons. But the fact that it's like, yeah, you got Kintoki's axe there, right? Um, you got some character's sword you got a sick bow and you got a cool spear i like that for sure i like that um hmm yeah if she was released now would have the discipline or dis disciples popping up right because you would have that but where it's at now much as i love mommy and much as i you know have friends who absolutely despise her which is a problem. I have friends who can't handle her. They're like, the boob spheres suck. I'm like, no. Ah, uh, that's a C, right? It could be better. It could be better. No, it's like, I have friends who they, they see her design and they're like, they're like, I hate the fact they're perfect spheres. And I say, I hate the fact you're a freaking coward. I, I love Rita's art so much. I I literally just went on a bender where I was browsing through all of Rita's like official, not even official, but like uh new new and uh old fate art. And like holy crap, his stuff is so good. It's so crazy. He simultaneously draws absolutely beyond perfect versions like of the male cast and then the most crazy 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 exaggerated versions of the female cast and like i appreciate both of those things so much i love it um so she's not an arcade but another form of her is it is latex but even latex doesn't go under into pocket form right Oh, the first servant that I, well, one of the first servants that I super missed and will never be able to get, which is a damn shame considering he's a freaking common rider. Oh. Oh. Oh, well, maybe one day. Look, even just let me, like, buy, even just let me buy it with, like, rare prisms. Like, for real. Golden Drive, Golden Knight. This one's sick from what I recall. Yeah, I don't know why I'd ever... Why is it 50 frames per second? I don't know why I'd ever use regular Kintoki. And I don't know if I'm 100% like correct, but I think isn't there another version of him coming out? I, I could be wrong, but let's see. And he's so good. No, it's a costume, okay. Yeah, 
It's so silly, but I love it. It's it's also the fact that the way that he the explosion happens is another Tokusatsu reference, right? Do we actually have a uh, a thing for it? Golden Drive. Good night. Yoroshiku Golden Dash transforms Golden Bear into its ultra accelerating assault form rams into enemies. Golden Bear's tires also transform into the drums of the Thunder God. With each spin, it increases its damage potential. He is summoned with the emphasis on his trait as the son of the Thunder God, but at the same time, his trait is the son of a man eating mountain, which is also amplified as a result of being more dangerous than his berserker self, or maybe he's just enjoying riding his bike. Yeah, that's 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 pretty good. That's pretty great. Um, so let's go to, let's go to grab him. It's really good. Yeah. I hear that the, the, when the raids first came out, they were a bit of a problem. So, um, okay. Let's see. What did we give him originally? Oh, did we give him like a super terrible rating originally? What do we give him? Yeah, we gave him D+. Plus. Well, it's definitely better than that. I actually like it better than Raikos. Do I like it better than Berserkers? Probably not. Let's go C+, plus there. Right? Yeah. Yeah, no, I hear he's one of the best welfare servants, for sure. So that's uh, that's that's a one that I'm a bit sad I missed. Now for the one that will never leave me alone. Oh my god, leave me alone. I like you. You're a fine servant. Although we might have to tell people about this. We might have to tell people about this. Um, you're a fine servant and you do pretty fine. But I am so tired of surprise bananas. I'm so tired of all the surprise bananas. Please, I don't want to see any more bananas. Okay. Well, uh, she's in arcade. Let's see here. What you got? Mm. I don't love it. I think one of the things is the fact that it doesn't... I think one of the problems is that it like it hits but it doesn't grab. It hits but it doesn't like like it like it doesn't grab till the end, right? Like there there it grabs, but I don't know. It just feels a bit Yeah, I don't love that. Let's see what it's meant to look like or at least what it can look like here. Oh, that's weird. It's like a real physical hand instead. Yeah, no, huh? No, I I gotta say I don't I don't love it. I don't. So um, let's look for her her berserker form. It's yeah, probably a D. It is a physical hand. I thought it was like a powered up super thing, not a real flesh hand that appears. Um, do we have a thing for it? Nope. Oh, she was enemy only at first. Interesting. Um, all right. We'll read that later. Apparently Rida designed Ryder Kentucky for laughs, then showed it to the staff. They loved it and added him. I love it. Oh, one of Raiko's boys was responsible for cutting her hand. I always wondered why she had, like, the hands like that. Well, now that makes sense. Whoa, okay, I've never seen this. Holy crap. I've never seen that. Yeah, they are physical hands, huh? Yeah, that's kind of sick, actually. That's kind of sick. Okay, I kind of wish we got, 
I mean, this is okay. That explains this form a bit more. Cause I was always like, what's up with that? Now that makes sense. Okay, cool, 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 cool. Okay. Uh, Kotaro. I really didn't like this boy's design. I thought him being no eyes hentai protagonist was kind of lame, but I've grown to like this, this boyo. Some of these traits are so funny. Costume owning. Uh, yeah, I guess. Right. I guess. I like him. He's a good boyo. And let's go to his costume just for the fun of it. Let's see. Okay, so he Naruto runs, does the, the Naruto runner spin and then he slashes. Okay, okay. All right, there should be an old one for him. Is there? It's kind of weird that because because did he get did he get a noble phantasm change though, right? Or was it just an updated model? Yeah, I think it's just uh, I think it's just an updated model. Um, okay, well, I guess he had an old one. All right, let's try and take a look. Let's see how different it is. Buma Kotaro Noble Phantasm. Let's see here. Three years ago, this looks like the old one. Yeah, he's shorter here. Oh, wow. Yeah, this is different. Oh, God. What a positive change. Oh, wow. Yeah. Wow. Huh? No, that is that is much, much, much better. Okay. That's that's putting it in comparison, huh? Yeah. Whew. Uh, that is okay. The old one would have been a D. Yeah, the hand sign was nice. But at the same time, summoning an army of dudes to Naruto run, that's also pretty good. Uh, the old one would have been a D. The new one is probably a D+. Plus. It's definitely better. No, nah, because I like it better than banana. It's a C. It's a C. It's better than bananas. Not as good as, as Kentucky Riders. Okay. Another one that I'm surprised isn't in Arcade. My name is Ozymandias. Okay. Okay, hold up. I feel like people don't know. I feel like people don't know. We need to watch this together. We need to watch this together. Okay? I, 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 I need to show people who haven't seen this the most amazing thing. Okay, so, yes! okay, I feel like there's people who don't know. So fun fact, I was teaching a class for drama and I needed to show an example of a stage play for drama and you, you bet your butt this is what I showed them. I didn't know. I didn't realize they're literally singing Kim, King Ramsey's over and over. Oh my god, that's rad. I love this so much. This made my sister become a simp for him. We do have subtitles. Look at him. Look, yo, he's feeling himself. Here we go. I have such a huge smile on my face right now. I love this.
Oh yeah, no, no, the music's great. And look at him go! Look at him go! Look at him go! I wish, I wish this, uh, I, I honestly want to buy a Blu-ray just to see this without the weird motion blur. Because he, he has moves. He has so many moves. And then there's the cast there that are just like, yep, we're watching this. I actually like sat down and um, watched a lot of the play. It's rad. It's really good. And I'm, I'm only going to show one more thing from the play. Um, because it's really cool. Fate, Grand Order, uh, Camelot stage play. There's one more really cool thing that I just want to show off because I can't do a full video on it, but there's one thing that is one of the craziest things I've ever seen a stage play do. And it's the way that they, oh yeah, no, Ozzy is like incredibly attractive in that role. Uh, the way that they do the car is the no not this one the way that they do the car is the most amazing thing oh don't worry i'll show the cats pro wrestling clips later too but the way that they handle the car the ornithopter is legitimately the most brilliant thing i've seen uh in 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 uh, for theater so unfortunately, only like the Aussie song and the prologue are subtitled, the rest aren't. Okay, so they project it in the back, right? But it's, it's not just a projection, it's a projection behind a screen. So watch this. They literally climb in. And it's like, I'm sure this looks so much better in person, of course, but they do some, some really cool stuff. I love this. And then they, they even move it around and like, holy crap. Like, that's such a sick effect. That's such a sick effect. And I've never seen, like, I've, so full disclosure, I like going to theater performances, but this way of doing this for the driving is so smart. There's a lot of stuff with, like, the set that's, like, absolutely brilliant. The stage plays are really good. Like I said, you can watch them on YouTube. You don't even need to speak Japanese to enjoy them, honestly. I watch them, I just watch them there. Um, you can buy the Blu-rays, too. Probably the better way. Uh, and if you get the Blu-rays, you actually get two versions because every night they would switch between the male protagonists and the female protagonist. Same story, but instead of just having the two different actors, because, uh, you know, understudies in that, they literally would switch off, like, literally the gender. It's great. They're a lot of fun. Uh, it, it's cool seeing it adapted there. Again, I've, I've, I've taught uh, drama classes, and I've used it as examples because it's so good. But uh, that, that, was, that, was my, that was our little our little romp into the stage place. We'll be coming back once we get to another, another, uh, another singularity there. But, uh, okay. I'm 90% certain he's in arcade. I'm like 90% certain he is. Cute Princess Carries by Gilfer and Kidu. That's great. Yeah, it's strange that he's not on there because I'm like, I'm looking at him and like, I'm pretty sure he's in the arcade. So let's just go down to, to find him after. But for now, let's do this. So, whoop. Didn't want to click that. This is another one that I saw quite early on that made me go, oh yeah. Oh yeah, no, no, he's he's literally voiced by Dio. Yeah. Yeah. The double pyramid. 
The double pyramid is really cool. It's literally slamming you through another pyramid. Stop showing me the Master of Disguise movie. Yeah, it's kind of like double road roller with pyramids. And that's kind of sick, actually. Right? I really like that. Where is Ozzy? Because I know he's in. I've seen it. I've seen it because I was like, how do they how do they get him? I know he is here. There he is. Yeah, his his model looks really good. I'll watch this here. Oh yeah, I guess the hourglass too, right? Yeah, like for the man who created the pyramids to literally slam you between two pyramids, that's great. His noble phantasm is both single target and anti-army. Are you serious? How does that even... I guess, yeah, because it makes sense for single target, but uh, anti-fortress... Manifestation of his glory summons a massive twisted complex of temples that forms a type of reality marble. The primary method of this is magical bombardment using Dendera. Oh, but in this work, its last resort, um, uh, its last resort of a large mass attack is performed. Interesting. Okay, that's cool. That's cool. I like that. I like it. Yeah, no, um, Aussies is cool. I like Aussies a lot. It's... It makes sense for Ramses to literally slam them pyramids in you. So we appreciate that. What I don't appreciate is how hard it is to find Ozzy on this list. Oh, they show his sunboat in the Camelot film? That's rad. That's good. I'm excited. I actually, I totally literally have the Camelot film on my computer. There he is. Um, I have it on my computer and I'll be watching it one day, but for now you can actually see me watch the first couple minutes of it in, um, on Patreon. So you can watch that first 10 or so minutes. Uh, okay. Yeah. Ozzy's great. Time for mommy saber who, Okay. Y'all know I love Saber. I do. But I don't I don't adore Mommy Saber. I enjoy her and I like her, but to me it feels like two whole separate worlds. It it doesn't fe it doesn't feel like it feels like a different character than the one that I actually like. It doesn't even feel to me like Saber, like my Saber, right? I like her, but I I I I have nothing that I want. Like I don't I don't I don't have an urge to go out and buy merch of this this form. I I don't. Cause for me, this isn't this isn't my saber personally, right? That's just how I feel. And I, I hope you can understand. Now, mind you, this armor, this is sick. This is so cool. We like this. Uh, this armor, this is sick. We like this. I'm, I'm not a, not a fan. Not a fan. Gonna be real. Gonna be real. It's, uh, it just, it just. It's too much. It's too much, right? Also, I'm uh, also okay. Full disclosure: I'm the type of guy to be like, like I see people will send me art of like saber that's like sexy and stuff, and I'm like, please don't. It's like sending me sending me hot pictures of my wife. Like, I mean, sure, but I I don't I I don't want you. I don't like. I don't I don't. Okay. Okay, it's fine. Don't worry. Uh, her unique version, her Camelot version, has unique cut in after her animation update. Oh, that's kind of cool, actually. I don't think I've seen her actual new one. So this will be interesting. She's also in the new game, obviously, in, in arcades. So we'll check that out in a sec. Boy, Wiki, you gotta, you gotta catch up. 
最果てよ光を放つそは空を去地をつなげ嵐の怒りロンゴミニアロー It's it's fine it's fine so let's see what it's like when it's updated though because i haven't seen it let's see what do we got for this one yeah i'm not the biggest fan of riding into the blast personally <laughs> okay already it's better looking okay that's cool yeah okay no that's a lot better that is a lot better right um and you can even pretend that she doesn't ride into it right um Lance that shines the underworld, sacred lance said to hold to be a storm anchor that holds down the planet. Its true form is the tower that fastens the surface of the world, releasing its true name will change its rank and type. With its 13 seals, it remains a pillar shining to the end of the world. Glimmering with radiance, the planet Rongo Million is a pillar of light that fastens together the surface of the world because of the existence of 13 seals created with the same process of the sacred uh, sword of the planet that saved the world. It can barely be manifested in the form of a noble phantasm. Okay. All right. Uh, out of all the artorials, this one feels the most kingly. When she appeared in chapter six, she gave you this sort of scornful gaze. Now that's cute. Disagree, but all right. I wonder if they have the um, the Storm King on here. Let's see here. Uh, Lancer alternate timeline. Is this the right one? No. No. No, that's not the right one. So it's probably not, but that's fine. If it's just a cut in, that's that's I mean that's cool, but not something I I, I need to go out of my way to see. Um Yeah, so let's go to right here. I like it, especially the new one, but I don't love it, so that's a B. That's a B. I guess we can search to see if Lion King is on here. Let's see. Oh yeah, we have the arcade version too. Yeah, no, it's they don't have it here. Let's go to arcade. She should be higher up because she came out before. Right? Unless I'm crazy. I feel like I'm crazy. There she is. She's way at the bottom. Yeah, I, I would kind of like it if they had, if the Lion King version was playable for sure. Yeah, because Camelot just came out, right? So I guess it makes sense why it would be, why she wouldn't really be here. Are you going to appear on your horse? There it is. God, I love, okay, I love her armored version. I really do. I really like her armored version. It is kind of fun and gimmicky to play on a horse as a character in like a game like this. God, seeing this horse fly in 3D is even funnier. Oh yeah, you get to see the earth crack and stuff with that one. That's cool. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I don't love it, but it's 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 good. It's definitely something I can I can still enjoy. Speaking of enjoying, a character that I originally saw and was like, oh my god, you're so cute, I need to get into fate. It's Nito Chris. Now she, oh, she only has the one. Well, because she has the summer version, I guess, right? Nito's adorable. Like holy crap. This looks like me when I'm playing Yu-Gi-Oh, right? You summon something, 
Like it literally looks like she just played like an Anubis trap card. It's definitely something that, what the frick is that? I don't like that. Uh, it's definitely something that isn't great visually, but if I'm correct, the, yeah, claims this mirror reflects the underworld. The details are unknown. Perhaps the mirror reflects its own inner psyche. Well, it just straight up doesn't tell you much about it, but I like the giant thing. It's good, right? It's good. No, I enjoy it. And plus she's, Cute as a bunny. Uh, let's see here. Nito, 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 right there. Uh, that's a solid C. That's a solid C. Absolutely. Uh, is she in arcade? I don't th think she is. No. No, which is wild because she's so seemingly so popular yeah and and it is it is grinding it's good for grinding because it's so fast right wait still weird to think that that is hair and not animal ears H hold up hold up what I don't, I don't know what to think anymore. I don't know what to think anymore. Huh. Yeah, but it wiggles, so like, what the heck? Maybe it's like Marge Simpson, where it's the hair, but also underneath there's actually ears. Did I just compare Nito Chris to Marge Simpson? Okay. Well, let's uh let's continue. Lancelot. Noble Phantasm is hitting on a mother. That's how it be. Lancelot's gotta be in Grand Order Arcade, right? Let me bring up the servant list. He's gotta be. Right? Where's the servant list? Servants. Wow. They really put in a Stolfo Saber before Lancelot. Huh? Lance is a lot of women. All right. Yeah. Okay. I I guess there was no Camelot. You're right. It, it goes about differently. You're right. Yeah. I've seen this so many times. I've seen this so often. Actually, wait, hold up. Hold up. That's, this is an updated version. Hold up. I was going to say, I've seen this so often. I know what this looks like. And now I'm looking, I'm like, no, I haven't. Like, it's different. That's really good. The only thing... Uh, I, honestly, I don't even need to see the old. I've seen the old so much. It's it's literally in my head right now. The only thing I miss... Because if I listen... Okay, no. I was going to say... I was like, wait. Does it not have the chainsaw noise? Because I love the chainsaw noise. It's still there. It's still there. However, it's not as... It's not as, you know, there. It's not as much, it feels like. It's definitely not there. I love the zoom in. Yeah, no, that's sick, actually. Holy crap. Uh, I, di I didn't even know that he got an animation update. Frick. That's good. He uses the stick. I don't know what this stick is. I cannot wait to see this stick. Um, sorry, I keep saying Lost Belt. It's just been programmed into me. It's going to happen. That's an A. That's an A for sure. I love it. Lore-wise, he has a sword beam, but he chooses to compress it into a slash. That's, that's so cool. 
you love to hear it. Like these just great ideas right here. By overloading Erendite, it causes the sword to overflow with magical energy, then reroutes it for attacks. A type of sword skill that purposely stores magical energy that would have been used as a projectile and released it all at once as he slashes. I love it. 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 What's his April Fool's one? Round table type. Handsome. He can generate and eat up stars. It's true. It's kind of OP. So he tends to come out on top in most legends. True. He's popular with the ladies, but he re remains humble despite that. I don't know if that's super true. Isn't he the role model every man should aspire to? But the truth is, he's just an evil man who seduces them without thinking. Then dumb Sem pretends to be sorry. Be careful, senpai. It's a good thing I'm a dude. Yeah, I didn't like him at first because I'm going to be real. I'm going to be super honest. I hate this art so much. I hate this art so much. Every piece of art of him... I actually hate his face. I hate the way he's drawn. His art makes me dis dislike him a lot, right? Um, I'm sorry, Shima, Dor Shima Doriru, but I really don't like the art. It's just, it's weird. It's just strange looking. And as soon as I saw him in like the anime, I was like, oh man, He's so much better. Or even just like other pieces of art. Like, okay, that's a bit of a big nose. But otherwise, it's not that bad, right? Uh, the formal dress. No, I hate that face. Nope, same face. I hate it. I hate it so much. Okay, this this one, right? Oh my god, look how nice that is. He looks so much better in the anime. He looks like a normal dude, right? You know, like, okay, well, this is clearly bait for, for another audience. It's not me. Where is he in this? Oh, oh, you're going to count that with him in the background, I guess. Right? See, but I feel like it works for Caesar. But I don't like it anywhere else. Or, like, that's a good one. That's a good one, right? Like, I, I like his design. I just don't like the art. I don't like his face. It's, the, it's not even the way it's shaded. To me, it's the angle of the eyes. It reminds me of that picture of Luigi doing the racist cowboy impression. And I really don't like that. Right? Like, it just looks weird. But I like Lancelot. No, Lancelot's cool. I'm excited to see some of these other updates then. Ah, uh, real sad boy hours. It's Tristan time. Okay. Let's see. Yeah, his face does look caved in. You're right. That's that. That is what it is. Oh, hey, this one has the old. I've definitely seen the old. But let's take a look again. He okay? You say you know what? He is shady, but in yeah. Uh, however, I still like him. Hey, that does widescreen. That's kind of cool. Yeah, that's not bad. That's not bad for the old one, but let's see what it looks like now. I think the biggest thing is just going to be him being um, better proportioned, right? Okay, let's see. God, I love the proportions so much better. Oh! Oh! That's so much better. That's, oh, that's way cooler, right? Because he now uses it to do, he does, I was surprised when he didn't play it, and then it holds them in place, right? And now, see, it makes so much more sense to hold him in place like that. That's so much cooler. Yeah, 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 yeah. Do we have a description here? Nope. Uh, he might look like he's asleep, but he's actually awake. When he opens his eyes, his cosmos will explode and use a skill that takes away your five senses. Okay, that sounds like a reference to probably Saint Seiya. Um, no, that's 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 way cooler. That's good. There's a character in the Fate side of work who knows only um, Arthurian legends via Monty Python. In a Fate side work. Oh, man. That's hilarious, but also probably for a lot of them. Yeah, that's a really good animation update. Um... 
That's great. I like it. Sad boy. Nice red hair to pick from. Uh, sad boy? Sad boy's going up there. Yo, are we going to get all the knights kind of together? Like, look, we got, look, look, we got, we got a bunch of them here already, right? They're all up here. That's great. They're all together. And just to check. Nope. Nope. Gawain. Gawain time. Probably my least favorite of the knights, but that's fine. Let's start with the old. I don't know. I just find it. I, I kind of find him a bit too vanilla compared to the other two. Okay, you're all saying gorilla, and I don't. I don't even. I don't even know. I don't even know why. I can't do Extella, sadly. I talked about it earlier. Yeah, the potatoes I get now. Yeah, that's, uh... That's alright. It's alright. Honestly, I, I think I'll just stick to Arcade. Because we'll, cause that's still... Fate Grand Order, right? We'll just stick to stick to the main work. That's his lore. He's just mediocre in the he teaches the lesson he teaches is doing your best. Okay. Okay. Okay, that's cool. Alright. God, the, the new camera angles are so much better. But okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Gawain. As sick as the knights are, I think you're a step below. I'm sorry, dude. It is what it is. It is what it is. Oh, I haven't seen the Green Knight movie yet. I hear the Green Knight's pretty good. I read the Green Knight story in uh, university there, and I couldn't get the image of Knuckles from Sonic and the Black Knight out of my head. So that's uh, that's a true fact. So sorry, you have to stay away. You're oh well, hey, you're with your king, so that's all right. Yeah, that's all right. Yo, Lancelot, yeah, I like Lancelot's better. Hassan of the Serenity. Oh, I think I know which one this is going to. Oh, I didn't read his April Fools. People want me to read the April Fools. Let me read that quickly. Because the April Fools ones are fun. Uh, round table. This gorilla is tough enough already, but he gets even more powerful than the great freaking apes of a certain planet when he's under the sun. Oh, it's a Dragon Ball reference. That's funny. He won't easily forget his regrets from chapter six. That's pretty good. Okay. I get that. Yeah, sure. Okay. Um, yeah, Serenity here. I'm really excited to get this cute costume. This costume's adorable. Like this alone makes me go like, all right, I'm maxing you out. Look, look how freaking cute she is. Right? She's adorable. Probably, honestly, my favorite Hassan just design wise. Um, so I think a lot of people know where this is going, but I, I have a, I have an idea. You say it's worse hundred face, but I, I prefer her as a character. So, so, okay, here's the thing. This here on certain servants and certain larger characters, if I'm correct, doesn't it have her, like, go in on the crotch? And it, like, is kind of, it's kind of like, it's, al it's almost like the, the dick laser. Just a little bit. So, yeah, it's, uh... That's a spicy meme right there. That's that that's meme tier for sure because uh oh boy, you get to see the uh you get to see that uh, spicy spicy yep that's 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 meme tier.
Yeah. To a couple of them. Right. Yeah. A little, little bit like summer, summer Mev too. Right. She goes for the feet or the crotch. Right. Yeah. Yeah. It's a meme. Big meme time. Actually, what does it look like in her costume? Let's see. Kind of also wish she moved her mouth to actually kiss, but yeah. Yeah, no, but that's a meme. That's big meme. Just double check. She's not. Yeah. There's only the one Hassan in arcade. That's wild. Okay, Tota, Tawawa, Tawawa, Tota, Tawawa, Tota. Um, I don't know. I don't. I don't recall. Did I? Okay, he definitely got an update, right? No, because he wasn't in the movie. Never mind. You're right. Yeah, it's pretty lame. Yeah, I mean, shoot, shoot, shoot the dragon. It's, it's a thing you can do, but it's kind of ultimately a little lame compared to some of the stuff that we see from other characters. Yeah, he's come on. He's super busted canonically, but he's also it's not a super great one. I mean, isn't the skill of it like really good? Um, anti-personnel, oh great bodhisattva of arms, place your blessings upon my arrow, powerful shot that would normally take five men to string, a blessing from the god of lake. I mean, his inexhaustible straw bag of rice is honestly probably cooler. Because, like, you could do a lot with that. And that is an, e that is an EX, yeah, no, no, I agree with it being EX rank. It can literally solve world hunger. That's EX rank to me. Yeah. But uh, no, he's actually. He's a little lame compared to some of the some of the ones out there. Is he is he he's three star, right? Yeah. So he should be silver. Let's look for some silver boys. We don't have many silvers left. Silver, silver, silver. Mm, there he is. That's a D. That's a D. All right. Betty time. He just got an update. I just saw it. It's real cool. I just got his butler costume. It's real cool. It's real good. It's a real good thing. Get that away. Go away. Um, let's start with the old. So like already that would be like outstanding already the lead up the slash and then like the cut it's so good it's so good. Yeah, in general, I feel like he's the he's he's a three star, and yet despite that, he's way better than most three stars. Why is he so good? But all right, let's see him do it in costume, popping it off here with the updated version. So. The new effect, I don't know if I like it as much. I think I think the old opening up effect. This one here, I kind of like that more. It's a little bit it's a it's a little bit slower which I like. But it reminds me of like Yeah, it kind of pops open there. I guess that but that that's that's still equally good. It's just different. Um It's real good. Oh, it's real good. It reminds me of like um, Leona from King of Fighters or like any of those characters who just slashes through stuff. It, wait, hold up. Is his voice? 
Is his voice the guy from Zombieland Saga? Oh my god, hold up, wait. All right. Uh, I love him so much more now because now I can hear it. Oh my God. That's amazing. That's so cool. Oh, that's so good. Yeah. But like, yeah, like, I mean, I don't care about like you, you got me there, but that's so good. I can literally hear him screaming at zombies. The silver arm that shares the name of the divine weapon used by the Celtic God of war, but its true identity is the sacred sword Excalibur that failed to return. Continuous attack. It can perform an anti-army level attack by releasing its true name, Dead End Argetlum. But freak, it's so cool! It's so good. Among the knights of the round table, his name is always getting misspelled. Why you gotta call me out like that? A cyborg warrior who can annihilate enemies with deadly punches from his silver right arm. Betty's great. I love the fact that it starts off like this, and then like he polishes it up, right? It's like his, he ascends it by polishing his silver arm. That's really cool. I love that. I love that feature. It's a sick, sick thing. And, and of course, this is, this is outstanding. And it's, it's wild that, like, this is a servant who was in since Fate Stay Night. Like, he's been in since the first thing. Like what? It took so long to get here, but here we are. Like you, you finally have the servant from from the first, right? I love it. No, Betty. Betty's gonna be. Betty's gonna be with the boys. Betty's with the boys for sure. Betty Vera is four Japanese VAs: Dean, PS2, PS Vita, and Grand Order. Holy crap! Wait, hold up. He had a different voice in the PS2 version. Really? That's surprising. Wow. Well, okay, I know because he, he was voiced by a girl in the anime Dean Dub, right? But was he also voiced in... Oh. That's weird. I, I th th They made the better choice with the voice change, though. This voice fits him so much. I love it. His Japanese Dean voice was Skahawks? Wow. That's crazy. Hey, thanks, Aracoda. Thanks for the thanks for the kind words. That's weird to think about. Okay, yeah, no, they they made a right choice. It doesn't help that he already looks like a saber face almost, right? I mean, he was always like he is androgynous still, but like he literally I mean, he I actually thought that he was a saber at first. Like I thought he was gonna be another version. It doesn't help they look the same. I mean, it's the back hair mostly, but yeah. Okay. Um, mommy, 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 mommy. Can I just say, I'm so happy that like, after the first couple, like story things, they just dropped the whole thing of like, oh, what do we call Da Vinci? Is Da Vinci a guy or a girl? It's like, I don't know. I don't get, I'm so happy they dropped that. It was, it was, it was really annoying. Because with milkers like those, I don't even care. Dang. Why'd you have to die? Why'd you have to get turned into a worse version? Alright, so... Let's check this out, because I haven't seen this for a while. Now, there is one thing that I, I already love. I, I love already already in love putting on unique glasses that are only on this and the fact it's just a dang nuke right but the fact that she puts on the glasses for you right and you get the unique pop in that's so good. I okay, you say she'll never get an animation another animation update to the story. But remember, remember, she's still alive in the event universe. So it's definitely possible, right? I think I think it could happen. Uh Uomo Universale EX anti-personnel anti-army 
The legendary concept of universality turns into form, analyzes the target in an instant, adjusts one max output and releases it against the target, is one might call an almighty uh, special noble phantasm. Although this noble phantasm can temporarily reconstruct an enemy's noble phantasm, thus reflecting it, but the resource needed for this is currently being rerouted to operate Caldia. Oh, so you're saying you can essentially be absolutely freaking broken. Great. Awesome. Uh, yeah, she is in Arcade too. Um... Let's see here. Da Vinky, Da Vinky. I just want to see her talk to me, so I'm going to play the whole thing. That feel when Da Vinci will never talk to you. Love her little bird. Oh, I love her pile bunker. It's another sick thing. The glasses! Oh, look at her power stance! No, absolutely. Maya Sakamoto supremacy? Absolutely. Alright, gamers. Alright. Stop that. Y'all know what time it is. We need to find her. And when we do, we gotta put her in her spot. Is it D for Da Vinci? Nope. L for Leonardo. My brain is hurty. My brain is bad. Valkyrie row. Thank you. Oh, did, wait, do they have the Valkyries separated? Huh. Okay. Wait. But it's not the Valkyrie row. Next to Columbus. Uh, uh, but, 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 but. Oh, this Valkyrie row. Because there's two Valkyrie rows. There she is. Uh, yep. Yep, 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 yep. Sorry, guys. The glasses, they bring it up. Oh, God, they bring it up. Oh. And shivering. And we get to our first set of summer servants. Servants who... Servants who I... One of them I might see soon. So y'all know that, like... Y'all know we're getting that uh, guaranteed super summon soon, right? So I've been doing some thinking and I looked at what's ahead. And honestly, honestly, I think I'm going for Lancer. Because that's the only class I don't have a five star in. And if I get Summer Tamamo, I'd be very happy. Because it's real good. Her super, I remember that's a good one, right? So... Uh, already I'm smiling because of the because of the the image there. Here we go. Yeah, every lancer for that is really good, and I get it. I'm uh, there's not one I'd be unhappy with. I love it. I love it. It's. It's just a couple good kicks, and then we get a rider kick right to the crotch, and then the delayed explosion. It's so good. Uh, I'm not going to be rolling for anyone until, until uh, the banner, the New Year's banner there for... Um, uh, Ryogi Shiki. I'm not going to be rolling till then because that's my last chance to get her for a long, long, long time. As in, till the time we don't even have future sight to see. So, uh, that's 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 why I'm going to be holding off on summoning until then because I really need to get her. So that is a that is a must get for me because Garden of Sinners was so good and I missed that event, but I got to get her a little bit. Um, okay, Summer Tamamo. Who if okay. Because Tamamo Summer is 
one of the Tamamo Nine, right? But this is. It said here, okay. Is this one? Yeah, there's summer version. Is this one? Because she has one tail. Is she one of the Tamamo Nine? No, she's the original, right? So, like, that's confusing. It's, yeah, it's just her in an outfit. Isn't it just, yeah, so, no, wait, but I heard that Tamamo Summer was, was one of the Tamamo Nine. I'm going to be real. I haven't, I have not. Yes and no. She's just a caster with alters origin. Okay. Yeah. So, um, oh my God, I'm just reading. It literally does say polygamous castration fist. That's amazing. Holy crap. Holy crap. I thought you guys were joking. Holy crap. Um, I'll get, uh, once I get to CCC, I'll get to learn about that. But for now it's like, I just, I'm, I'm going off of what I know. You guys were joking. It's literally called the castration fist. That's amazing. Yeah. Okay. Here we go. It's still the same time. no my right. So, okay. Uh, wait, so let's see here. You know, I'm actually a goddess, right? Summer Tamamo wants to show off her beauty as a woman. Don't fall for a love trap. If you give her a parasol beach in summer, she'll use a chance to show off her grace. Instead of a lady, shouldn't you be called a hunter? That's right. Well, she is the original. She's also like one of the Tamamo nine. People call her Tamamo shark, the ocean hunter. Okay. Tamamo type servant. Tamamo with the greatest Tamamo power of all the Tamamo type servants. Why are all the male servants gathering over there? Is that some sort of victim support group? Okay. Well, sounds good. Uh, I love that. Summer Tamamo is wonderful. And honestly, one of the four that I would really appreciate getting come the, uh, the event there. So I just need to find her with her little hat right here. Uh, that's, uh, you know what? That's a B plus the actual animation. I feel could have a, it, it feels like it goes a little bit quickly. I feel like there should be a bit more diving before the clicking starts. That does a thing. So yeah, but that's a B plus for sure. That's absolutely a B plus. Oh, and she does have the arcade version too. So let's go grab that. Cause I don't think that was on her list there. Uh, ba -ba 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 -bum. summer. I love how this video is proof that the people curating this wiki need to like continue their job because they're not doing it. What actual like heathens. Oh wow, she's oh she's brand new. Never mind, that's why. She's like brand 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 new. She literally just happened, I guess. My sister loves her and her outfit here. Oh my god, the animation. Six months? Never mind, I guess not that. Not that soon. God, her animation there is incredible. Wow. I love her. I love the way she fights with the umbrella. It's so good. Oh, she gets the regular rider kick here. <gasps> Look at her little hand motion! Oh my god, that's so good. Oh my god, that's so good! Oh, that's great. Oh, that's wonderful. Oh, that's so good. That's so good. I love it. That's so good. Speaking of so good... Speaking of so good... Oh boy, here we go. Now, this is one that I was sad that I missed. Like, again, for obvious reasons. However, I feel like there will be a time where I'll be able to get her. Because, like, let's be real here. They will bring back, like, an, they're going to do an all-saber banner one day. Where it'll just be every saber on rotation. Even if Japan doesn't have it right now, it will be there in the future. Right? I love the fact that it's like she gets like Shiro's jacket. It's so adorable. Um, all right. 
She hasn't had a rate up in, in yeah, three years, roughly. Yeah. There was, people were telling me like last year, it's like, you have to, you have to jump on it now to get it because otherwise you won't get it. And I couldn't get her. So I was like, oh, frick. But I feel like, yeah, you'll, you'll get it there. Okay. Already, I love the fact that she can run on water. Again, nice reference. Yeah, I know she has an arcade there. Popping, like having both the sword and the gun is great. Putting the sword on the gun, firing it as a water version of Excalibur. That's so freaking good. That's so freaking good. Oh yeah, her her uh, April Fool's art is incredible too. Literally like nothing personnel kid. I love the fact that this got a reference in... Um, I love that I got a reference in the uh, VR game, which, okay, by the way, if you have, if you have PlayStation VR, go to, like, get, download the Grand Order VR. It is, like, I, I cannot explain how it feels to, to sit beside Mash and Saber. It's like, it, it, it was an experience. I literally will pop it open sometimes and just play it just to be near them. It's true, as much as I don't like to admit it. But it's crazy. You never know. Like, VR is crazy. If you've never been in it, it hits different. Anyways, Excalibur Vivian. No anti-personnel. Sword of Radiant Sunlight Victory, despite saying that all... Uh, uh, saying all... That about Archer class is how it turned out in the end. Yeah, really childish. Excalibur was originally trusted to me by the Fairy of the Lake. Why would it be surprising if it had some water attributes? Even Aggie would have to hold back a smirk at that one. Aggravane? Calling her Aggie? Calling him Aggie? That's weird. It's very strange. Uh, let's see. Artoria type servant, gun toting, swimsuit wearing. A bit more energetic. Wreaks havoc whenever there's a swimsuit. Well, yeah, because it's every time, right? Yeah, the last, you can get her on the summoning bags, but that's it. Like, after 14 millions, she hasn't had one since. Hopefully I get her sometime. That'd be nice. I think she was one of the first summer servants, so let's go check that out. I was literally, um, when I went to play Grand Order Arcade, the two that were on raid up were between Summer Saber and Summer uh, Raiko there. And I got Summer Raiko, of course. Of course. Although Summer Raiko's animation for summoning her was very awkward. We'll get to her when we get to her. But it was, it's something else. Look how ready she is for combat. Look how happy she is. I want to scream. I love X shoot. Look at these animations. She's so into it. Yo, the running on the water. Oh my god, this animation is incredible. Bruh. 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 Alright, where the frick is she? She's got to get a high ranking because I have the biggest smile on my face. Uh, it was, they, they can't add Aggravane for the same reason that they can't have Jake Paul um, talk to women because, well, they, 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 they hate. Yeah. Okay. That's my joke. That's my joke. Um, that's an A+. I actually legitimately think that it's better than Sabres. Because it's Sabres plus more, right? It's Sabres plus more, and that's all I need, man. That's so good. Yeah, that's 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 a real good one and definitely one that I need to get. Speaking of ones that I don't want to get that they keep giving me, I I have I think I'm gonna have her at like Noble Phantasm like four. Like, I literally don't even want this one. But I keep getting Summer Marie. I don't even know what her Noble Phantasm is. 
oh my god, what the hell am I looking at? I don't think I've ever seen this. What the hell am I looking at in that thumbnail? What is this? Sorry, jellyfish? What the frick? What? Huh. I don't... Precious Brilliance Everlasting Crystal Dress. What is happening in it? The illusion that has existed since ancient times, the radiance of the royal authority is won't... Okay. Huh. Marie, when she's wearing a swimsuit, just the simple act of playing with beach balls will cause the enemies around her to die. I can't even tell what her noble phantasm is supposed to be. It literally says that. It literally says, I don't even know what it's supposed to be. That's weird. I don't really like it. It doesn't help that out of all, like, the original servants, like, from, like, the very beginning, um, I've never really liked Marie Antoinette in this game. She, her dumb hat has always been bad, but even with, like, She's right here. Even with her dumb hat gone, I don't really love it. It's just kind of weird. That's a D. It's not terrible. It gets unique animations, but it's just like, it's just weird. Yeah, it's kind of like an offensive version of Imperial Privilege, I guess, right? Just very strange. I get the concept of it being the brilliance of like the, the family and stuff. Like I get that. But I don't really like it. I don't really like it. Um Okay. And Bonnie and Mary Reed, the Archer version. I will start by saying the concept of having them switch kind of who's in the lead is the most brilliant. I think it's great. I think the fact that they go back to bunnies at the end, we get it. That's your thing. Like, we get it. You literally like bunny girls. Sure. Uh, but it's, it's, I kind of wish you were a bit more creative about it. The fact that it's literally called Act Two is fun. So, because it's like literally saying, like, hey, this is a follow up to what we did before. <laughs> The booty shorts are cute. Big old skull. I mean, it's it's just a cooler. I, I prefer this to their original. It's just a better version, right? Wings abreast. <laughs> abreast. Uh, with entwined branches, the time and provides uh, this time and provides the main attack while Marie provides support. Either way, it's extremely difficult to stop their teamwork because in the pirate world, one always has their backs against the wall and battle, and these two have each other's backs. Yeah. Anne and Marie in swimsuits. Considering what they usually wear, the swimsuits are actually less lewd. God, I like the April Fool's jokes for these. It's true. It's like it's honestly not much. Um, no. I mean... Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take what we gave the originals and we're going to bump it up. So if that was D, then that's now D plus. It's better. It's better. That's it. Uh, okay. More Dread Rider. Oh, yeah, I know that Anna's the same VA as Saber. I mean, there's a lot that are shared between them. Or Sumo. Sue more. Sue more. All right. Sounds good. Um, let's see here. Oh, no, I like Artemis. I like Artemis's design a lot. I think that it looks great there. It's also not a bunny girl, so... 
So big confession, one of my favorite moves in Pokemon is Surf. I love the concept of big waves and fighting with a big wave and harnessing a big wave. Uh, I I love this one so much. And the fact that it's so loop friendly is so nice. Raining over the surging waves, feeling like a king. She hits the enemy with tube riding. She surfs through the waves and they make a tube. I was going to say, it's not like you're in a tube, but it's you're, you're in the wave tube. A pride wind surfing technique, top class and difficulty. While doing this move, she feels like on top of the world, ruling the seas. I love it. Surfing Mordred is cute. Very, don't you agree? Absolutely. I love seeing her just like being happy. Yeah, Pride Win is both Arthur's shield and boat, so it's a brilliant way of doing it. It's so good. And it's just like, it's a good design. It's such a good design. She's just great. I like her with a tan, too. It's a shame you can't get color with just the regular outfit with the tan, but oh well. It's, uh, yeah, no. So if we're going to be honest here, Sermo. Sermo's getting, Sermo? Sermo, you're an A+. Plus. You're up there with your daddy. Like, for real. It's really good. It's really good. I love it. It's both functional as well as just... Just fun, right? And I mean, I there, there's even, like, little comics I love. There's a little comic that I saw of, like... Uh, I can't show it because it has Mordred's butt exposed in it. But there's a comic of, like... Pride when broken and like Mordred returns it and then Saber's holding it and then like pulling Mordred away because like broke the thing. It's like, it's good. It's good. I like it. I like it a lot. I can't show it because it, it has um Saber holding Mordred by like the butt. So I can't do that. But so wait, if, if Saber is Mordred's dad, would that make Shiro her stepmom? Yes. Yes. For sure. Undeniably. Which would make me his step mom. Cause I'm Yeah. Okay. Um That's weird to think about. The Scat Assassin. The Scat Assassin. Only one costume, of course, cause uh cause it's in here, but what a good costume. Like, what a legitimate, wonderful costume. I'm so happy this is in, like, Stella and stuff. So let's see here. Oh, no! The video, it's gone! Okay, so... Let's see here. Uh, this one. Here we go. Oh, I remember this. This is sick. I love that. Yo, yo, yo. Okay. I forgot how good this is for a welfare servant. Holy crap, I love that so much. The kick into... The kick into... Where is she? What? Wait, oh, did I already kill her page? Uh, the kick into it is so great. Holy crap, I love it so much. Right? Uh, let's see if we got any lore here. Uh, soaring spear of kick piercing death. The true name is the same as when she was a lancer. It takes the life away. The target of the process is different. This is the famous kick bulg, the one that which makes all warriors gaze in awe. One of the summer storms that grips a warrior's heart. Excited type servant. She's a little too excited being in a swimsuit. Way more open minded about things. So now's the time to get your request in. Uh, no, that's 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 outstanding. I I love that noble phantasm so much. So if we were to look for where it is, she is an assassin. She has the purple hair. 
Purple hair. Where's her purple hair? Top row, right there. It almost doesn't even look purple. Yeah, that's uh, gonna be real cheap. That's an A rank, baby. That's an A rank. That's so good. I find the timing to be a little off. It it has a little pause in the middle that is almost a bit too long. It kind of hits like. It doesn't hit the right length. It doesn't have the proper sort of flow that I like to it. But otherwise, the concept is so good. So like that's an A. That's really good. I really like it. I also I'm I'm, I'm also gonna be very honest. I don't love Skyhawk. She's fine, but she's not. Out of all the like very popular fake Grand Order characters, I don't know. She doesn't do much for me. Like I'll see people do like fan art and stuff and like all this stuff about like it. And I'm like, I just, I don't know. I, I feel very little towards her. It just, I enjoy her. I, li I like, I like, there's cool stuff, but it's, it's, I, I don't want to say overrated, but that's kind of how I feel just a little bit. Right. I don't know. Sometimes I'll see art of her in like mom jeans and I'll be like, yep, no, I like her. But otherwise just on her own, it's like, eh, she's, she's fine. Just kind of a, kind of a personal thing. Um, Kiyohime Lancer form. Kiyohime Lancer. I got her quite early on. Ah, uh, yeah, I did miss her event there. Show me Kiyohime. How do we feel about Pop-Up Pirate? Japan loves Pop-Up Pirate. There's a few, like, staple things that America has that Japan loves. Uh, the Game of Life, they love the Game of Life. Pop-Up Pirate, they love the Pop-Up Pirate. I, You know what? Okay, yeah, she has been built up since Stay Night, so she has to be in for sure. But I don't, I don't know. I don't, I don't necessarily... Love her. Also, we're dropping frames, baby. I love dropping frames. I actually don't. We're gonna have to wait till the frames come back. Let's wait till that happens, man. Oh, the frames are back. We're good. Never mind. The frames are gone again. Let's wait till the frames are back. I thought we were. Uh-oh. Internet. Please come back, internet. Are we good? Boy, my kilobytes are going mad up and down. Okay, are we stabilized? I think we have. Good. Um. Yeah, don't worry. I I I have a thing that pops up with the with the frames going down, so I can see when it's going down. I feel like the biggest knock about Skyhawk is how unremarkable she is in her first, uh, in her only main story appearance being the American Singularity. No, you're super right. You're super right. That's kind of another thing. I feel like she should be somewhere else. At least one more story. And I mean, I guess, I guess you can count Skyhawk Scotty, but that doesn't even feel like the same character because it's not. All right. Pop a pirate type. Slams in the bell. Fries him up. And then stabs. Yeah. Uh, I like it because it, it does work off her myth there, right? Of what she does to her person. Uh, her stalker. Traps the opponent in a bell, piercing her naginata into the bell like a twist game of shooting fish in a barrel. They can't say pop up pirate, but that's what it really means. It is one of the most bu one of the more brutal and heat suffocating skills, especially in the dead of summer. Because of that, servants that stay with her say she is the worst to be with during the summer. I like it a lot. I like it a lot. After all, Kyuhime was born in ancient Japan, so she's extremely against the idea of a swimsuit. That's interesting, huh? Okay. Didn't think about that. Please take the time to compliment her, sure to put her at ease. Just keep in mind that nobody's responsible for any possible wardrobe malfunctions. That's that's okay, let's not. Um, Kiyohime in a swimsuit, even more excited and aggressive than usual, she's going to stalk you passionately. Yep, that's her. Uh, her white hair is cute. I like when she gets the white hair. I don't love the white hair on her default costume, but I like the white hair here. So, 
Yeah, and uh, as 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 another reminder here. So let's not let's not worry about ma wardrobe malfunctions. All right. Okay. Sounds good. Uh, let's see. Mm. Right here. Uh, I like it better than her normal one for sure. So let's look where Kiyohime was put originally. So she was a C there. Let's go C plus. Yeah, C plus. I don't think she's enough to hit that. B. I don't think she's too much to hit the B, but she's she's definitely C plus. I like that. Uh okay. Yo, Tifa time. Let's go. Let's go Tifa gamers. Literally just Tifa. Literally. Like holy crap, especially in this costume. You are just Tifa. And that's fun. I like it. The Tarask, this time even better. All right, let's see. I like this one a lot. Beats down him. So good. So good, yeah. It literally just explodes her Tarask at you. Uh, let's see, does, do we have a... We actually don't have a thing for it here. I mean, there's there's not much to see. It's just... It's just doing a beatdown on him, right? It's great. Apparently, this is an ancient fighting style passed down from Jacob to Mo Moses to Martha. What? <laughs> if, if Mastered One can win against an Archangel... Legends say that Senu Master this would destroy the Angel of Death. What? That's so great. Martha in a swimsuit. She gave up and became a fighting machine specialized in hand-to-hand -hand combat, able to shatter her enemies drawn a single punch. I do like any art that has her having uh the the muscles. Oh, the muscles. But like holy crap, they literally just made Tifa. You are just Tifa with a color shader. Isn't uh does this one have muscles? Yes. Those are the the, the muscles what I like. I like it. I like it a lot. Built upper. Oh, what did I say about Tifa? Holy crap. Wow. That's literally her Nibelheim incident outfit. Holy crap. They knew what they're doing. Holy knuckle. Okay, does her Bond CE literally talk about the fact that this is a weapon? No, it's a story. It's a poem. That's great. I love it. Okay. Um, Summer Martha. Let's find her here. Mm. Summer Martha. Summer Martha. She would have her big dumb hat, if I'm correct, right? Gotta find her hat. Maybe she doesn't have the hat. King Protea Row? There she is. Yeah, the hat was invisible. I was looking for the hat. Uh, the st Sorry, is there a story in the Bible about Jacob wrestling an angel? Okay, I need to look this up. Okay, for one, that's a B+. It's not all the way up to A, but it's real good. Um, sorry. Uh... Jacob's limbs? I... Well, okay, well... That, that, that. Okay. Jacob wrestle angel. Jacob... Jacob wrestling... What? <laughs> Jacob wrestling with the angels described in Genesis... The angel in question is referred to as man and God in Genesis. In the narrative, Jacob spent the night along the riverside during his back journey back to Canaan. Isn't Canaan... Wait, hold up. Isn't Canaan a, 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 a Nasu work as well? Or am I confused with something else? Count is a man who proceeds to wrestle with him until daybreak. In the end, Jacob is given the name Israel and blessed with a man... Refuse to... Oh my god. 
Oh my god. Wow, okay. Um Okay. Uh yes, but it's unrelated. I don't care. The fact there's another relation there is the most buck wild thing. Well, um I've full disclosure, I've never read the Bible fully. I don't know anyone who has cuz uh, I'm not from the deep Bible south, so like we don't like just read the Bible for fun. So um Okay. I've learned something new today. All right. Well, time for Ilya. Ilya, Ilya, Ilya. So, you should have the, yeah, I was going to say, you should have the arcade version. I don't love her costume. Let's see here. I don't think I've ever seen her old one. I've only ever seen her updated, I'm pretty sure. Unless I've only ever seen the old one. Music is a wonderful touch. I love the music. I love the fact that if you're out of her final form, it's it she transforms into it. I love that a lot. Okay, yeah, let's check this out. Yeah, it looks roughly the same. Oh yeah, that effect looks better. Oh yeah. She transforms quicker for sure. Oh yeah, that looks much better. I do love that it's literally like, what if we did an attack that's just so strong, it just ruins Ilya? Like, like okay, if you're if you don't know what's being said, it doesn't mean as much. But when you read like literally converting every system in her body into magic circuits to fill up and use at maximum force. That's super rad. Let's go back. I want to I see what she looks like here. Okay, that 3D model is actually a bit weird to see. By the way, uh, we, we will be in the future doing stream playthroughs of the Prisma Ilya 3DS game. I have it. I have it working for stream. We will absolutely be going through it because I have nothing to say considering I can't read the dialogue. That game, it's kind of weird. It's kind of strange. So uh, we're gonna. I'll need. I'll need people to distract me over the dialogue. I can't read. I can listen and I can maybe pick up words, but I can't read the text. Oh yeah, it, it totally exists. And it's a weird game. Oh, I like the transition there. Alright, am I gonna have to show you guys? Am I, have to, uh, am I gonna have to show you guys the game? I can boot it up. Just give me a moment here. I might as well. Just give me a quick moment. I'm gonna boot it up so you can see. Uh, cause I have a controller right here that I can use. So give me a moment and you'll get to see what it's like. Cause I can hop in from the main menu onto, um, I can hop in from the main menu onto the, uh, the mode there. So I might as well show you for those who haven't seen it. Uh, where's my totally real Nintendo super, super DS thing. Oh, don't worry. You don't need to look up footage. I'll play it right here for you guys. I'll show you what it looks like. Um, because why not? Why not? I hope my controller is actually connected. It actually probably isn't. Let me do my totally real techniques of connecting it to show you. Uh, ig ignore, ignore the words that you're hearing. Ignore the words. This is all real. 
Okay, so A, B, X, Y. Don't worry about it. It's real. It's a real 3DS, guys. I'm just so I'm just such a gamer. Up, up, down. L, R, Z, L, Z, R. Uh, start. Select. Okay, here we go. Totally, totally real Nintendo 3DS footage time. Let's go. We'll just go. Oh no, this is. Let's go to the school. We'll play as. We'll play as Luvia. We'll use our default deck. The component. The opponent will be Rin. Here we go. Ignore any stuttering. Ignore any stuttering. This is real. So it's... How do I turn the camera? I forget how to turn the camera. Uh-oh. Video game. I forget how to turn the cat. Oh right, it's it's the D-pad. See, the big problem is that there's a whole system with using cards that I have no idea how to actually use. So like, I can't do half the stuff. I, I literally can't use use half the moves. But this is real. It's a real game. Uh, it'd be better if I put the D... Because if I, I can put the D-pad onto the stick there and it could be better. But there's there's like... You have to do like card building. You can put in cards and then you install the cards to do combat. But like... I like... Okay, we got jump. We got dash. This... The X button is use card and I don't have any cards. Right. Oh, I can lock on. Oh, there we go. I needed lock on. I didn't even know that there was a lock on button. Oh, that might make things a lot better. Okay. Oh, see, that looks better now. I didn't know that there was a lock on. Okay, yeah, that's better now that I can see this. Like, I, I, have, I, I honestly, I just tested to make sure it can work, and that's about it. Yeah, this is hella cursed. Oh, we're gonna do a full stream playthrough. One day, we'll do a full playthrough of this. Don't worry, though. Because uh, I'm excited to sort of see where it goes. I just need to learn how it works. But we'll absolutely play that fully through one day. Because, uh, yeah. I don't even... What, what brought us up to look at the... Prismalia 3DS game. I don't even remember. Oh yeah, no, this game is like hella awkward. And uh, the pre-order bonus for it was getting the Rider card in game that lets you turn into Rider and stuff. Um, so yeah. So let's actually talk about Ilya. Uh, I really, really like Ilya's attack. That's an A for me. It's the fact that she transforms into the final form. And it's really good. I like that a lot. I do. I think it's it's a wonderful move. Um, that's cool. And the, the concept of it is also rad. What's her... Let's see here. Quintet Freya. Multi-instrumental saturation bombardment by tricking her body to recognize muscular, nervous, vascular, and lymphatic systems as pseudomagical circuits. This technique allows for a momentary power boost at the risk of one's life. And I like how that makes a lot of sense for, like, why it gives you the debuffs, too. God, this makes so much more sense now. Oh, it's the amber herb, you say. Amber. You know what the name for amber is in Japanese, right? It's Kohaku. That's, that's, wow, okay. All right, sounds good. 
Magical girl type. Some people think her first ascension is the cutest. Some people think her second is the gold standard. Some think her third ascension is the greatest human treasure. Okay, if I had to choose, it's number two for me because then she transforms. Right? Then she transforms for the super. I prefer that. Although battling in number one is also fun. All in all, they're all fun. I like it. Yeah. All right. Kuroi or Chloe or Kuro, or whatever they're calling her today. Hisui is Jade, right? Yeah. Which, again, is buck wild because Hisui is Jade. There was Pokemon Jade, and on the cover of Pokemon Jade was a, a big Stantler evolution, which was a fake one, and now it's a real one. So, it all works out, baby. This one's great. This one's really good. This one's really good. Again, the music brings it up. And the final touch. Yep. That's real good. Uh, yes, her arcade version is so good. It is actually one of the coolest things. I've definitely looked at this one quite a bit just because I look at it and I'm like, frick, I want to play arcade so bad. I want to play arcade so bad. Yeah, mu mu uh, 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 having non-default music always brings it up. God, what's with the the same actress of like Tamamo? All of her like lines just coming out so good in arcade. I think this is she has an animated voice. Like this is badass. And and I love that it's on Emya. Oh, it's so good. Yeah. Nope. Nope. That's some. That's some good stuff. I like it. I like it a lot. No, it's wonderful. It's outstanding. It's so good. One of the reasons I really like um, it as Chloe specifically is because it's just a normal name. And like, it's also a Western name, which makes a lot of sense for like, why... Like Ilya would ha like Ilya has like a Western name from Japan, right? So it would make sense that her cousin would also have one. I like that a lot. Triple Crane Wings, a special move used by a certain heroic spirit. It projects three pairs of married swords, utilizing the paired swords' attraction to each other. This series of ranged clashing slashes is practically unavoidable. When combined with Chloe's ability to instantly move around the enemy, the uh, maneuver is difficult to perceive even with mind's eye. The only way to defeat it is to either defend from all directions or ignore the damage and attack directly. It's so good. It's so good. I know, but I, 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 German, Western, you know what I mean, like non-Japanese, right? Magical type servant, sweet little devil. I've never seen a person so much like a succubus before. You should see how much effort Mahiro puts into his characters. Is Mahiro the illustrator? The storyteller? I think. I don't actually know. Well, someone will answer in five, four, three, two, one. Wow, my timing's off. Dang. You guys are supposed to be a fun of knowledge. Guess that's a no. Her April Fools, I love the eyes. The eyes are so funny. Um They did did they say in the manga why they can just Yeah, people are just like uh, okay. Guess people are like, oh fair enough. Maybe that's the nickname for the illustrator. Oh. Uh okay. Chloe, though. Yet. Chloe, Chloe. She should be by the top, but I guess she's not. There she is. Uh, no, Chloe honestly gets right up there. That's another A. It's so good. It's so good. That's so good, Chief. I like it. Um, Brave Elizabeth. Little bit of, uh, oh my god, there's literally slimes. Holy crap. 
There's literally slimes. It's just... It's just Dragon Quest. Um... I wish her outfit wasn't constantly falling off her. You know? Yeah, because I saw the name was Hiroyama Hiroshi, which is like, yeah, Mahiro. Like, you can kind of... It works, yeah. That's why I thought it was the author there. Um... I kind of wish her outfit wasn't falling off, though. It makes it awkward whenever it's visible of any way. The whole event is Dragon Quest. Can't wait to get to it one day. Okay, she screams. Pops them in. Okay. That's fun. All right. All right. Um, sure. So let's see here. Weight includes armor. Um, battery braze airs a bit. B, anti-personnel. 10 to 1, maximum targets 1. Cyclone demon is a fresh blood. The saber version of battery airs a bit. Uh, this forbidden technique seals away an enemy with her temptuous hero power, then releases a spin that causes them to explode. Of course, hero power here means the sonic breath. The super thunder screw slash launched at an enemy stunned both physically and mentally by supersonic waves is strong enough to shatter evil talent agencies. All right. Sounds good. She fights with the legendary blade 18. Of course they do. Of course... Uh, Elizabeth's bikini armor is way too revealing. This is what happens when a pure pop idol gets tricked into shady works by evil adults. Yep. It also uh, it resembles the Giga Drill Breaker. I mean, I guess. And yeah, that is the female, um, Dragon Quest 3. Like, yeah. Yep, 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 yep. Her dungeon map is good. Goblins, Yosin Goblins. Frick, I want to do this event. That makes me mad that I missed it. It's a good thing it's coming back one day. Uh... Brave, it's better than... Okay, you're... Okay, no, I'm going to put it on par with you. Because I like it, but I don't know if I'd say it's A-worthy, but it's good. I, uh, You know what? No, actually, I'm going to put you down a bit. I'm going to put you down. No, I'm going to put you down a bit. That's, that's a C+. Plus, right? I was thinking, oh, I kind of like it more than the default, but then I'm like, do I really? I don't think I do. I think the creativity of, of, of Elizabeth's regular is still up there. So that's a C plus. Yeah. Yeah. No, that sounds good. Um, and I don't think she's in arcade. I'm fairly certain. No, she ain't. That's all good. All right. Time for some more Danganronpa with Cleopatra. God, you are just, you are just Danganronpa. Uh, ba -ba 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 -bum. All right, let's see. No arcade okay, Solishtar, thank you. I love her poses. That said, I actually think that's kind of a lame noble phantasm. It's just kind of an explosion, right? It's just kind of a holding still in an explosion. That's a lot of history with nothing else, huh? Um, the woman dazzles with peerless beauty. She'll pamper her master. So just be grateful for her presence. Obesity is the greatest crime of her eyes. I'm sure it is. Yeah, I don't... I don't love it. It's, I actually find her normal animations way better than her normal phantasm. Like, aside from the cute pose, I actually don't, 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 don't really love it. So let's go, um, that's a D plus. Yeah. Definitely could have a bit more. Definitely could be going a bit, a bit better. Vlad the Third Extra. He was, uh, I got him. He's good. I do like, I like his first design more, I think, than having all this extra crap on him, personally. Yeah, her movement animations are great, right?
Like, yeah, it's a bunch of, a bunch of these. Final one. Big up. That's about it. I never met his clown master. I never met, I never did that route. So I'm going to be, I'll be meeting them probably for the remake. Or if I end up going and doing a second playthrough of extra to get to that bonus boss. Um, because now I really want to, obviously. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. Maybe I'll, maybe I'll do those in the future, but that's not, that's not something I am super looking towards right now. Um... Let's see. Vlad. Well, he would be... He'd be near the bottom, but not by the new ones, right? So he would be... Vlad. Vlad, 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 Vlad. There he is. Um, It's fine. What did I give... What did I give the... Uh, first Vlad. Let's see here. First Vlad, I, I gave him a C. You know what? I'm going to say that's roughly comparable. I'm going to say that's roughly comparable, right? It's similar, but it's not, I don't know. Oh yeah, no, I, I think, I feel Ark's going to be an extra record, but she's going to have her updated design. I think so, right? So we'll see. Um... Jean d'Arc Alter Santa Lily, which is still, like, hilarious, just how much it is. Just so much. Just so many titles. Another one that I hope we get a big Christmas event, sort of a mega event to get all these that I missed. Okay, let's see here. Uh, it's it's a little I feel like it's trying to be a bit too cute right I feel like it's a little bit trying too hard Jean Alter was born from the wishes that Gilles de Ray made on a grail after Jean drank the weird elixir that King Gilgamesh yeah so it's just like it's all <laughs> like it literally says someone's got to put an end to this this is a problem this is a problem. I'm different than the adult me. He he. Yeah, she's like, yeah, her personality is closer to the original Jean. Um, la grace de Noël. The graceful grace. Is it the great? Mm, I don't know, but uh, Santa girl uh, or girl Santa. Sing elegantly of said holy birth, the counterpart of Le Grand Montaigne. Noble Phantasm Hidden activates when she gets excited. Naughty children get lectures, damage, and good children get... But Okay, so that's kind of... Okay. That's interesting where it's like... That's interesting. Because where you have like... The enemies get hurt. We get buffs. Presents fall like snow. It's said to be a hit for children at Christmas. There's no real need for her to sing. Okay. Fallen type servant, a girl whose name you can't just help wanting to say out loud. She may be less mature than the adult Johns, but she also seems more clever. That's kind of how she feels, right? Yeah. From what I've seen. Ah, uh, she's cute, right? She's cute, but her actual noble phantasm? I don't know. I don't know. Um, Let's see here. It's getting easier, at least, because we can get them pretty much all on one page, mostly. John, 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 John. There you are. Uh, that's a D. That's D plus, right? Because it's it has a it, it's cooler than D because it does have the cool thing of it does have the cool thing of being it damages and it both buffs because you have like. You know, naughty and nice, right? It all works out like that. I like that. However, it's not necessarily something that makes me go, yeah, let's go, right? It's it's just, it's it's fine. 
All right. Foot time. Are they are all of Jean's in one tier? Oh my God, you're super right. That's going to change. Don't worry. That's going to change. Give it time. Ishtar. Okay, so yeah, she got an update, but it's so nothing, right? Her, like, yeah, like I've seen this, like I've, I've seen the comparisons. I've seen both of them. There, she basically didn't get an update. It's so similar. So that's fine. I'm not too worried about her and not too worried about her animation updates. Yeah, I could. Well, wait, the graceful Christmas girl. La Grasse. Yeah, it, like, yeah, it's it's broken. It's broken there. Like, that's that's not proper. Oh, hey, thanks for the money. I mean, Shiro, that's that's hilarious. Um, thank you. I, I know it says says and there should be a thing to put a box, but that's because it's on Twitch. I'll get that fixed later. Don't worry about that. But thank you. Thanks for the money. Um, let's see here. Yeah, she really didn't need an animation update. So, hey, um, how do we like Sephiroth, right? How do we like having a beam out of a planet? Like this, I love the perspective trick of this, right? Where it look, it looks, you know, like it looks like it's small in her hand, but it's actually the whole planet behind her, right? I love that. I love that so much. That's real good. That's super strong. I love it. So if we check her out in uh, arcade, I think I love her there too. I think she has some cool stuff there. Yeah, she was a little earlier. I'm I'm excited to see her in the anime for sure. Uh, Inkidu has Arcade Noble Phantasm. Wiki doesn't list it. You have to search it up. Will do. I just want her to yell at me. God, I love the animations of them talking. I just love they put so much they take these voice lines straight from the mobile game and give them such good animations I liked seeing her warp out too Again, you get another, you get a different perspective trick. Oh wait, hold up. I never noticed the eye color change. Is that in the original? Does she change her eye color in the original too? Did I miss that? Yeah, they're yellow there. Because, yeah, they're red. Oh, she goes through the portal there, too. Yeah, I just realized. Yeah, now they're yellow. Huh! That's interesting. I never noticed. That's really cool. That's a nice detail. Uh, yeah, no, Ishtar's is wonderful. Ishtar's, that's, uh, that's an A. That's an A plus, honestly. Like, it's, it's, it's so cool. I love the idea of it. Goddess of Venus shooting, shooting Venus like a projectile. It's so big. And that's what I like about Noble Phantasms is I like them to be big and almost out of control, right? I love that stuff. Time for Inky Do. Again, seeing Inkidu, quote unquote, in uh, Marvel's Eternals, very different version of the character. Oh boy. Fighting Lamu with, you know, Gilgamesh on that movie, but still very, very strange. Uh, 
Uh, let's see here. So, for the personification of the chains, I really like it's the idea of, hey, what if every chain all fired out at once, right? Like, it's like, what if they all fired and fired into essentially a massive chain, right? Oh, humans, let us restrain the gods. Inkidu turns their weapon into a single divine weapon, or body into a single divine weapon. Uh, incredible amounts of energy are transformed into chains. Inkidu uses them to bind and pierce target. Inkidu was originally a weapon sent by the gods to return Gilgamesh to their side. Gilgamesh was the wedge of the heavens, created so man and the gods could never be split apart. When he rebelled against the gods, it was Inkidu's job to bind him. But Inkidu became Gilgamesh's friend. The chain of the heavens used uh, for the benefit of mankind, uh, for his friend, as his friend wished. Man, woman, neither. Doesn't matter. Cuteness is justice. Very true. Matter of fact, since Akito can change her appearance, please transform to be even cuter. Of course. Uh, when are you going to do a reaction for the anime? When I have time. Because it's just like, there's so much. And personally, I, I said this once and I'll say it again. I want to get through original stories before I start looking at a lot of adaptations. So, because I still have a lot I got to get through. But uh, I'm 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 excited to watch that anime. I have both the Blu-rays there, so we'll be uh, we'll be watching those for sure. Uh, like I said, we do have Inkidu. I don't think Inkidu is like here here. So let's just go to YouTube. Grand Order Arcade Inkidu. I spelled that wrong. All right, let's see here. One month ago. Yeah, it just came out, huh? We really got to upload these in better quality. Whoa. Oh, I like the effects of that one a lot. Oh, yo, the big chain like slashing onto them. I like that a lot. Yeah. Yeah. New Noble Phantasm? Is this just the one that we looked at? Okay, no, no, don't don't show me the anime. Come on. Stop that. That's straight from the anime. I can see. Don't do that. Um Oh, it is an anime reference. Okay, that's why. Oh, that's what it was showing. Okay. Okay. Um I like it. I like it. I think it's a cool way to do a, because let's be real, like, Archer, I mean, uh, Lancers are, Lancers are tough to do supers for, because, like, what can you do with the Lance, really? Um, so, to make it something like that, nah, I like it. It's good. It works well. It's, uh, it's a cool way to do it, because it's turning the whole body into a projectile, and then slamming that down with, like, wrapped up with the other projectiles. Nah, it's cool. That's great. Uh, so that is a, that's a B for me. That's a B for sure. That's how I feel, right? It's cool. That's some good stuff. I like it. Okay, well, we are, we're getting near the end for today. We're getting near the end. Uh, we're at Ket's. Oh boy, I'm gonna have to show something. No, but Enkidu himself is the Lance. That's the cool thing. Well, themself, right? The, the Enkidu is the Lance, and I like that. Uh, it, with Gil, of course. Um, okay, Ket's time. I've seen small gifts of her supers in the anime. Holy crap! Right? Holy crap! <laughs> So I freaking love, I freaking love command grabs or grab supers. This is literally throw you up 
do a DP that turns me into a fiery projectile, grab you, and slam you down with a suplex. Oh, so good. So good. So good. Yeah, no, cats. I mean, the. Okay, so here's the thing. The animation could be better. I think so. I think it's a it's a little janky, but the concept alone raises it to at least a B plus for sure. I feel like she could have an animation update to make her just slightly, I don't know, a bit better. Also, they could give an animation update to actually give her a proper Quetzal Quadless. Uh, every dinosaur that she has is just a pterodactyl. Quetzal Quadless is not a normal pterodactyl at all. Like, just regular pterodons. No, no, no. Quetzalcoatlus is so freaking cool. Please, please ignore that one search result. Quetzalcoatlus is so cool. Like, you don't just make them to be just a generic sort of flying, you know, uh, you know, thing. Look at this thing. That's cooler than any regular, you know, um, pterodon. So it's literally what if a giraffe was a giant flying bird and they kind of look like it in flight, but it's still not right. Right. It's a giraffe pelican. Look, look at the size of these things. They're so huge. Anyways. Um, yes. The other thing we need to see is if we're looking at some stage play stuff, we need to see FGO, the stage, Quetzalcoatl, because this, this, where is it? Really? They don't have it? Are you serious? Wait, what? Fate. Wait, what? Where is it? Wait, wait, what? Are you for real? But I need to show it. Cats. Aquaddle. Stage. Okay, let's go Cats Aquaddle. Babylonia stage. Yeah, I don't want to show the whole thing though. Right? Let's see. Uh... Maybe it's the, the uh, one of the few that I actually watched, so. Okay. Let's see here. It's definitely in this. Though not the exact thing that I want, but you'll see. Look, look at these tiger warriors going at it. They're literally yelling Uno Dos Trace. Yo, Merlin's Merlin's hyped to be there. Her dance moves aren't 100% on point, but her wrestling makes up for it. Yeah, they just, there's just a bunch of tigers, and I don't know why, but I love it. And then it's like, you got Shoutcaster, you know, up there. It's so good. Romani's into this. Like, actual wrestling moves on these. <laughs> like, <laughs> the full German suplex! I wish that was me. So this... We'll, we'll watch a little bit more, but there's one specific clip. I think it's from the credits that is, is the most... The, the, the best one. 
So like her actress was a real wrestler here. And so they brought her in to do just like her job. And I mean, honestly, act, uh, wrestlers are already actors anyways. So they're used to that part. Literally rotating the ring for the audience to see. Japan loves wrestling. Japan loves wrestling. Japanese wrestling is so good. They're literally like rotating the ring for everyone to see. So good. So I'm, I'm going to show you the, the one exact clip I was looking for though. Because there, there's... Um, I, I've tweeted it a bunch. And so it shouldn't be that hard to find. But there's a clip from the... I think the credits... And uh, it shows her doing this crazy flipsy doodle. Okay, so Quetzalcoatl. I got to spell her name correctly to actually get it. Yo, Romani is so into it. I feel like Romani would be into wrestling. Okay, let's do wrestling. No, let's do what word was it? Um, I posted it from, uh, fate. Let's go fate stage. Let's try that stage. Where is it? I know I've posted it. I know I have, unless I got hit with, a a demonetize, like a, it removed. Yeah. It's like a, it's like a crazy leg lock. Um, Rick, I don't know if I'm going to find it. Cat's Fate Stage Show. Oh, here we go. I found it. Yep. Bless you, Reddit. It's not in the actual stage show. This is the one. Yep. Like, holy crap. Look at them all getting into it. Actually, it might be because all the cast there. But no, there's Robin, so I don't think it's from the real stage show. It's so good. Like, holy crap. Holy crap, this, this here that she does is the most amazing thing I think I've ever seen. This here. Like, what is she doing? How does she do that? I don't think that's an actress. I think that's the actual goddess in real life. What the frick? I think this was for uh, one of the, the con like the conventions for, for Fate there. Um, where they put on stage shows, but holy crap, she's real. Uh, oh boy. Oh boy. Let's finish this up. I'm getting a bit tired, so let's let's finish this thing up. It might be Solomon, but I don't know. It seemed pretty cheery and happy for Solomon, you know? Could be, who knows? Okay, let's grab Gilboy here. Okay, I, I, even though this isn't like his direct thing that he's doing, see, it's funny. Despite him being a caster and not an archer, this is way more of a cat of a archer noble phantasm, right? A long-range bombing of the Uruk Fortress. I mean, I guess commanding them, but it doesn't feel like he's the one doing it, right? Not only use the power of Gilgamesh, but all the citizens of Uruk. Gilgamesh reluctantly loads his collection onto the catapult and allows the soldiers to follow them. Broken Phantasm, I did that 4,000 years ago. Uh, yeah, that's one that um, definitely could... I feel like it could be a bit better. I, 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 I'm sure in the anime that's going to be so much cooler... But for what it's worth, where it's at here, it's fine. 
I don't super love it. It's a cool concept. Uh, I'm going to say C, right? It's a cool concept, but it's definitely not, nothing's happening with it that makes me go like, yo, let's go, which is, I need that let's go factor, honestly. Uh, baby Medusa, baby Medusa, Medusa babies. I hope Medusa's doing good right now. Think about her. Um, I don't even remember what hers is like. Even looking at this, I don't even remember. Mm. It's it's kind of like your generic run up, do some attacks, fire a beam, which by this point, by this point, also, yeah, the fact she says her name out loud and that is super funny. Uh, by this point, I feel like we're, we're past wanting just such simple noble phantasms. I think by now we should be getting ones that are a bit more into it, so... Personally, I think that could have be could have been a lot better for what it is. And also, yeah, the fact that it just says her name, it's like, oh, well, I guess that's who it is. Uh, right there. I do uh, that's that's gonna be whoop, I didn't mean to put her in E. That's a mistake. Um, I do kind of wish yeah, let's go D plus. It'd be nice if we could get the one from um first order, right? The Lancer Medusa from First Order. Right? Um, this one. Is it Medusa Altar? Are you serious? It's cool. I would have preferred this by by a long shot. This, whoa, this form of her? It's freaking rad. Kind of wish we got her. In fact, I honestly hope that we get her one day. But not before summer, right? Is she Medusa Alter? I guess so. She's got the red and the black, so... Sure. I hope we get her one day. I like her a lot. like her a lot more than the baby version. But, you know, for obvious reasons. Uh, okay. On the other hand... Big Mama's house. Big Mama. Oh my god. Every single piece I see of seeing how big Gorgon is in the anime and seeing how, like, she could literally eat you with a single bite. Like, oh my god, I, I, I have a hard, I have a very hard time looking at her shots from the anime because I'm like, I wish that was me. All I want to do is see you turn into a giant woman. So badly. All right, let's see here. Yes, okay, it's Vor. Fine. I love... I love this shot here. Yep. It being a callback to Hollow Ataraxia is super rad. The fact that this is one of the few, like... This is one of the few Noble Phantasms that directly has a very, very detailed storyline that you can go back and read about and you can see like the process of it and like what how it became what it is i love that i love that so much i think it's really cool pandemonian setus enforced seal demonic legion temple uh what remains after she abandons the last trace of the goddess within her she temporarily materializes the gorgon monster and dissolves any life that exists within the area any human will die instantly and servants take massive damage this would be a cool effect if we could actually get that in there, please. Though it is a strengthened version of Rider Medusa's Noble Phantasm, Blood Florida Andromeda does not require any time to charge and can simply release by saying its true name. Its effect on inorganic objects is diminished. Medusa, when she turns into a delinquent, she won't listen to a single word. If you level Medusa wrong, this is how she turns out. You would enjoy an Asa written scene if it was just four. Why do you guys know me so well? I hate that. Uh, big mama, big, big, big mama, big, 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 big mama gets an A plus, right? 
I feel the fact that it's just beams is kind of sad. Um, because when in, in hollow ataraxia, it's almost felt like me, it wasn't just beams. That was the threat of the, the Gorgon there, like in its Gorgon form, but it felt like beams mixed with the fact that this rotating, like giant thing was approaching you. Right. Because that, that rotating there, it, it almost feels like you're, you're sucked into like the flesh and that would then rip you apart Acura style, which to me is a lot scarier than just big beam, right? If it's beams and that, then that's cool. But I always imagined it like literally rolling and approaching, right? That's kind of how I saw it. I hope that makes sense when I talk about what I'm talking about, because otherwise I seem like a crazy person. Um, Jaguar man. Jaguar man. Jaguar man. Or Jaguar warrior. Uh, I don't, I don't hundred percent remember what it's like. Yeah. Excalibur is up there because of its, uh, like it's the fact that it's the first, right? Uh, the dissolving that was pretty graphic in Stay Night for Medusa. Yes. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Oh, yeah, the big, big slap. one 800 are you slapping Um, we got something for it here. Nope. Fujimura type servant, a wild servant of the physical manifestation of freedom, stares at Emya from time to time. All Emyas. Emya, Emya, Assassin Emya, and Emya Alter. I bet you she has some choice words for Emya Alter. Uh, yeah, it's just a banana slap, right? Yeah, uh, I gotta give that to Banana Tear. Unfortunately, I love you, Jaguar Warrior. I really do. But that is a Banana Tear slap. J, 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 Jaguar. Where's a Jaguar? Where's my, there she is. Uh, yeah, it's a Banana Tear slap. It's kind of boring. Where's the banana? Is the banana this row? Nope. Banana this row, banana row. Yeah, there we go. Uh, okay. Well, Tiamat doesn't have a noble phantasm, so we can't look at Tiamat. However, Merlin has two for us. So, let's take a look at Merlin's. Yeah, Tiamat's is just take a bite. Would Romani enjoy wrestling because of the stories of how his, Solomon's ancestor Jacob wrestled an angel? Holy crap, you brought it full circle. You brought it back. That's amazing. I never would have connected it. Holy crap. So. So, obviously, this is really good. It's really, 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 really good. Oh, there's an old one? I've never seen the old one. Whoa, that looks different. What's this old one? What's this old one look like? Because I think we had the updated animations in the story. Huh. Interesting. I don't know if I, which one I prefer. Um, boy, that NPC version is so much nicer though, because it just gives you that immediate heal, right? Um, hmm. It's really, really, really good as a noble phantasm. As a, like, it's probably one of the best for the actual effect of it. Yeah, the old one wasn't that bad. Um, however, I don't think it's that great. It's just kind of him going, yo, check out my flowers. Um, like, that's a C+. The only way that it would get 
higher. Like the well, yeah, it's not good. It's like it's good, but it's not great. Best April Fool's art. I forget what it is. Look at this freaking dude. This look at this dude. Um, yeah, he's, he has the Merlin trait. I wonder who has anti Merlin stuff. Uh, yes, it's fine, right? It's not not anything that makes me jump up and down, but it's it's a build he makes up for it. Okay, well, we need to check out uh, this one here. Oh, the other April Fool's art? He has another? I didn't even see that. Is it down at the bottom, maybe? April Fool. Oh, yeah, there it is. Yeah, I remember this one. You're right. It's the best, the better one. Look at him. It's getting freaking owned. I love it. I love, I love the way Rio draws Fu so much. The way Rio draws Fu is like this chaotic, like it, it makes so much sense. This chaotic beast of chaos. Uh, but no, let's check out, yo, what if Merlin was like hot and a royal prototype Merlin? There she is. AKA Magimary, huh? Holy crap. Proto Arthur is voiced by Merlin's VA and Proto Merlin is voiced by Saber's VA? Holy crap. I like the hood off. Dang, those leggings. So what's the effect of that, actually? What's the actual effect that it has? Let's see if we can type in, if we can go to Proto Merlin here. Uh, Proto Merlin. What do you actually do with that? We're just about done. This is, I think this is our last one. This is our last one for the day, right? This is our last one. Uh, so let's see. What does she have? Hero creation. Increases buster performance for 30 seconds. Okay, so she has hero creation. Uh, increases party attack for 30 seconds. Rages noble phantasm for 10 seconds. Yeah, okay. Grants invincibility. Uh, reduces all enemies noble phantasm. Charges one's uh, own noble phantasm by number of enemies. That's different. That's a different one. Okay. Uh, so she it, hers is Hope of Avalon. The Forever Unsealed Utopia. Increases max party for 30 seconds. Increases noble phantasm generation for 30 seconds. Reduces mana recovery for 30 seconds. Okay. Okay. Sure. Again, it's a totally different game, so you can't really even compare them. Right? So what does she actually do for her ascension? So she has that hood off. And then with the little, it's almost Ilya-like. I don't know. I get, it's especially in, in this part, really reminds me of Ilya's little headdress. Okay. All right. Yeah, yeah. Icons, sprites, expression sheet. She wouldn't have that because it's full 3D. Official render for stage two. And then some art. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I guess, I guess it makes sense with the magical girl stuff, right? So, okay. All right. Um, I, it's not, it's not much, much better. I am HO, but it's still pretty cool to see, but, uh, okay. We're done. Oh boy. That was another long one. Oh, I got to stretch a little bit. Uh, judging by their voice lines, the voice thing is the only thing that confuses Artoria and Arthur about each other. That's hilarious. That's really funny. I like that. Okay. So. That was a lot, but we got through. We got through. So we def we have our first new EXs. 
that's good. We got some more A pluses. Uh, for the most part, I don't think we added anyone into E tier. There was no one that was so bad they were still E tier. A few more memes for sure, and a few more at the lower, but for the most part, pretty much everyone was near the top. So, uh, all in all, all things considered, yeah, we're getting through. We're getting through. We're almost done with, like, the initial part one servants. Hey, that's pretty good. Uh, so thank you all for joining me. We only have 120 servants left, although I probably won't get through them all because I'm only going to go up to, like, what's out in the games, at least for now. Um, but yeah. Thank you all for chilling with me for this, and uh, we'll see you next time with some other stuff. I still haven't seen Arjuna Alter's Noble Phantasm, because I haven't got to it in the story yet. But uh, yeah, thank you all for joining me, and we'll see you next time for some more of our Let's uh, let's Rate Them All, right? And like I said, I already like talked about a couple different stream things we'll be doing this in the future, so don't worry about it. It's all good. It is 120 left. Okay, sounds good. All right, guys. I'll see you next time. Bye.